give all acknowledgement, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakadash, and the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the God of the Israelites. First and foremost, we're going to give double uh, honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. Oh, God damn, son. Uh, diligently uh, taught us and brothers that have come up, you know, being soldiers, teaching us truth and sincerity. Hey, shalom on you. Um, we're going to go right into it, dealing with current events and how soon there's going to be a mass uh, uh, accumulation of Israelites that are, are thirsty and hungry for this this truth you know um with all the current events going on these celebrities spilling the beans you're gonna have the elect actually research and find out that they're israelites you know so like they said um not all public publicity is good publicity but it's it's all gonna be good pu publicity for the truth because you could do nothing against the truth but for the truth all right, so we're going to start off with, um, what is it, Ruth 5, 5 and 5? Uh, Ruth 5, 5. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look toward, look about toward the east, and behold, thy children gathered from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High. I mean, the, the four corners of the earth, from the east to the west, all Israelites, even Israelites that look like heathens, are going to be gathered by the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. The gathering is, 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 is starting right now. All right, the word is going out on the internet, and each and every brother is putting their hands to the plow. So the, this truth is everywhere. It's a wildfire right now. Said it's the gathering from the west. The main gathering is here in America. That's where the main deliverance is going to take place. The West going back to the East, or the East, or Israel, back to our homeland. You know? That's right. Is there any more? For they departed from thee on foot and were led away of their enemies. But the Most High bringeth them unto thee, exalted with glory, as children of the kingdom. Children of the kingdom, so we were led away as slaves. Yeah. We departed from this knowledge, from this truth at one point, and now the Lord's bringing it back. Now, how? Through the internet, the prophets, with the apostles, you know, that first started pushing this truth, you know, and it spread all throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, through the internet. And that's how we know we're at the end. You know, how was I said? He said, these things are going to pass, but the world is, uh, you know, look at that, Matthew. Matthew 24. We witness the prophecy. This is what the Lord said is the indicator that the end is going to come. That's so the world, main prophecy. yeah, when the world knows this truth, when it goes to the whole four corners of the earth, then the end shall come. Okay, yeah, it's Matthew 24 and 6. It says, uh, it says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And what's the main war that's going on right now? Yeah, like Russia, Ukraine, what's going on, what's going on over there in China. They're about to get involved with it. Iran is already involved with it. You know, some Lord will make this war up, right? Lord will. Lord will, 2003 could be that year. Well, it says, wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Yeah, the Lord said, don't be troubled when you hear these things, these wars. This war escalates, you know, when they, when they institute that like karagma, you know, time to take the trouble, ultimately. Don't fear those things. These yeah. things must come to pass. These prophecies must come to pass in order for Yahweh Shai to usher in his kingdom on the planet Earth. Yeah. You can't have two kings sitting on the throne, so the Lord has to take down Esau. So that his kingdom will rise. Go ahead. It says in the... Uh, Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. Every day there's a new earthquake, new pestilence coming out, monkey pox, whatever, new Ooh. vaccines that they're trying to push. Ooh, over there in Florida, they said there's a flesh-eating bacteria that's killing people. Yeah. Yeah. Flesh-eating. <laughs> 
Who will be president of the Yankees in these last days? The Lord said, no sickness will come nigh to thy dwelling. That's right. Yeah. No pestilence will come near to thee. Okay. Stay on his word and stay on his truth. Go ahead. Jacob's be... trouble, he shall be saved out of it. He'll be saved out of it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be crazy ass times, but crazy ass times for the wicked of our people. That's right. You know, because they're, they're going to be the ones facing it, man. It's going to, it's, it's called the time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be a time like no other. You know, so, hey, fear the Lord. And it's for them. It's not for you. Yeah. you know, it's not for the elect. Lord, we are part of that number. It's for those two-thirds that sin against them the Father and continue to do it until this very day. Yeah. You know, that's what this destruction is for, right? It's for those, those ones who said, let his blood be upon us yes. and our, our children. Yep. Okay, so you are your own children. Okay, so it's going to really come upon you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it says, uh, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence, pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. Yeah. Yeah. All that that the Lord just listed, that's the beginning of it. That's right. so, Ezra is also likened unto the beginning of sorrows. Alright? Remember that time now, the beginning. Alright, what? Yeah, you can yeah. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. For the Lord's name's sake. For, for preaching this word. Alright? For, for, for prophesying against this kingdom and every heathen. They're gonna hate us, man. You think they hate they people are hating Kanye for a few words. Yeah. They're gonna hate us for bringing out this truth, man. They're gonna they're gonna really hate us to where they wanna put their hands on us. That's right. John the Revelator said that he saw the souls of them that were beheaded, but for the namesake, for being a witness on behalf of Shai, man. Kanye, Kanye, he bringing out half truths. See, but we bringing out the whole truth, right? When he when he was posed with the question, are you are you affiliated or do you? Uh, you sure? Uh, back, uh, the he black Hebrew Israelites, yeah. he totally changed the subject. Yeah. Okay. Totally went somewhere else. He don't want to address that. Yeah. Because he's part of controlled opposition. Yeah. Okay. He's still he's still in the mainstream because they want him in the mainstream. Yeah. Okay. They cancel him off all platforms, and all of a sudden he gets another platform for them to say this, so they can bring that out and demonize us. Yeah. That's all that shit is for. Okay. Yeah. Mentioning us with him, with with anti Sham Eddie. Okay. Word? Yeah, you can't even say the word. Okay, that's how much of, 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 a, of, a, of a hole they have. What Job nine and twenty four? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. They run this place, man. They run the whole media. Media is a word come from medium. Okay, that in between, like Yahweh Shai is our medium between us and the Most High. Okay, the media is the medium between them and Satan. Right. Yeah. Okay. The youth are the ones that pull the strings. I mean, exactly. Kanye West wouldn't be on TV at all. If they didn't want him there. Right. Yeah. They didn't want him running his mouth, saying all he, he bugged out of his mind. If they didn't want him in the media doing that stuff, he wouldn't be there. He would just right. be gone completely. All right. Yeah. They want you to keep thinking, you know, as long as he's saying Jesus, okay, black, all these buzzwords, so okay, that that helps support white supremacy. Yeah. Okay. As long as he keeps saying that. Regardless if he's saying something about them, it's still keeping our people back, okay? It's not working toward uplifting our people and letting our people know who they truly are. Because yeah. when he mentioned Black Hebrew Israelite, that's, the door was open right there right. for yeah. him to go in, okay? That's but he didn't go in. Same thing with, uh, what's his name? Kendrick Kendrick Mark. Oh, Same yeah. thing. He could have, you know, the door was open. Same, even, even going past Kendrick Lamar, going back to the Killer Priest days. That's how I first came, when I first came. Got a taste of the truth, man. Listen to that heavy mental album. He actually put off the name. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you how why you have a shot. He said that in the album. <laughs> and that song on uh, Bible. He brought out a lot of truth in that album. But you know, he ain't around no more. You know, so he wasn't you know, set up to teach his word. Most I know who's gonna wake up and who's not. The truth is only for a certain select people on this right. side. So don't let all that dismay, all right? Not many wise, not many noble, you know, uh, are going to be called in the same. 
you know, th those people, man, you know, they're the world, man. Their focus is on gaming, you know, and trying to make it here, man. Yeah. You know, our focus is trying to get out of here, man, trying to be safe. And their focus right now is not losing. Yeah. They don't want to lose that what they have gained. Yeah. Okay, they don't want to lose this world. They don't want to lose their status. They don't want to lose their money. They don't want to lose their children, yeah. their family. You know what I'm saying? They know that evil E could take all this away. Okay? Easy. That's yeah. easy work for E. Yeah, just like with Kanye, he lost $2 billion in endorsements. He, right. he still got money, you know? Yeah. He, he ain't tripping about that. Right. He was saying, hey, you can have it back. He doesn't uh, even want the money. So fucked yeah. out, man. So, regretful and sorrowful for what he did to get this, the position right. that he's in. And then you know? when you get that type oh, of money, yeah. you can't do anything with it. What you gonna do right. with it? You, you can't you can't do you can't spend it the way you want to spend it. I'm gonna go and help my people with two billion dollars. Right. Uh, do that and see what comes of that money. Like for Oprah, she was a billionaire. She see? Still is. What did she do with her money? She opened up a school in Africa. Exactly. How about the hair mites? Yep. Yeah. Uh, not the hair mites. They praise them for that. Yeah, good, good. Because of what? Because you did not help your own people. Okay, you still push the narrative that we, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, or whether well, Negroes in America are African. Okay, and it's truly we're not. Okay, our spirit is is way from an African man. You ask a brother, any brother walking on the street, would he put a big ass plate in his lip, or would he would he uh would he dye his hair by putting his head under the back of a cow and let the cow piss on his head? Okay. That's not in our spirit to do that, okay? It's back in Matthew 24 and 9. It says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. But the Lord's name's sake, not Jesus Christ, not being a Christian, for Yahweh Shemel Shai's name, what we're preaching. Yeah. The world's going to hate us, man. Yeah. It says, and, uh, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. You yeah, see that now. A lot, of, a lot of false prophets, you know, coming up. Whether they be the truth, whether they're not, whether they know they're part of the truth, or whether it's Christianity. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are pushing the false doctrines. Now people are falling for it. Like that one lady that came up a few weeks ago. She knew yeah. she was an Israelite, but she was bugged out yeah. of some way of doctor. She didn't even believe in Yahweh Shah. She didn't believe in the New Testament. There's a lot of that going on. Hey, that's that's a good point because it's this truth is going to them is they're going to be like, oh, well, this thing didn't cover them, and they're going to there's going to be a lot of Israelites setting up trying to uh, pretend that like they were here from the very beginning, or you know they know the scriptures. There's going to be a lot of false. People, it's like camps, right? They see people. Yeah. 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 You can't go to your family. Your family's going to be looking at you to turn you in. You know? You love to make sure wax cold out. Hey, it's already waxing cold. Yeah. I, I did a video on it. Uh, more people are killing with, with knives than with guns. So you have a lot of people out here stabbing people to death, man. <laughs> people are get, becoming more cold-blooded by the day. Oh, yeah. yeah. A few months ago, there was like this string of just hit and runs. Especially out here in LA, people just hit somebody, just take off. <laughs> Having like five, five times in one week. Yeah. You yeah. know? Love a minute to wax gold. That day as well. Yeah, throughout this pandemic, people just been, uh, there's, there's been oh, that man. uptick in crime, man. Yeah. You know, wait and see next year when, uh, hey, in Chicago, man, uh, hey, they, they're going to let these inmates out, man. Oh, see yeah. what happens then. Yeah. Because hey, it says, because of um, the liquidity of Shell Bound, I mean, wickedness is going to overflow. Yeah. So these people are going to lose their moral compass. They don't give a fuck, man. A lot of people just, they're just. They're almost cold-blooded killers. Find these people out here. You know? It says, uh, but, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But he that shall endure unto the end. Keep coming out here every week. Keep pushing the videos. Endure unto the end. 
you know, that's the only way that can guarantee your, your salvation. Yeah. It's not about saying that you knew about the sin. It's what you did for the Lord, right. whether you overcame or not. You know, that, that's that's what's going to matter at the end of the day. Well, you have faith. Yeah. You know, the scripture says, hold fast what thou hast. You know, hold him fast to his truth. Holding on to it like, it's like you got one woman you, <laughs> you don't want to let go. Yeah. That's real. We were supposed to believe on this. This is what's going to save us. It says, uh, verse 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When, when the gospel of the truth shall be preached across the whole world, how is this gospel pushed across the entire planet? Man? The internet. Man. And just going back to the root, where it said from the gathering from the east and from the west, that's when the children shall wake up all the way to the east. So this, this truth has, has been pushed. You know, so we have to be close. The elect has to be very close to all being woken up. Because once the elect is fully woken up, that's when the angels are going to let them see this destruction. The elect is being woken up in all nations. Okay? All the nations, the Israelite foreigners, are becoming aware of themselves. Okay? They're not identifying with their own their own so-called race. Okay, they're identifying with, with the Israelites. Okay? They're feeling us. Because it's them. It's not, it's, they're not of that nation. They're of this nation. Okay? And nothing can change that regardless of how they look on the outside. It's about what's on the inside. It's the spirit. Okay? It's the spirit. It's the spirit that quickens us. Right. You know? it's the spirit that gives you life. Exactly. If you get this word, it's true no matter what your skin color complexion is. And if your line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you can feel it. You're going to yeah. go. Scripture says, but the spirit bear witness, like, you need another day, no matter what they look like, even if you had a blindfold on or not, oh, yeah. they, you can tell, your spirit can tell that. That's oh, yeah. another day right yeah. there. You know, that's why you have a lot of Edomites. They be like, man, I'm black. Y'all talking about, I want to be black. I'm black. No, that's a day. He can't yeah, help but be himself. Yeah. Like Will Beaton. Oh, you y'all know Will Beaton? Yeah. <laughs> that woman's yeah, Jake. Bro. Huh? She a Jake. Oh, that, that, Jake, that one chick that talked like she a ghetto. Yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. help that. Right, yeah. And she was talking about God. She said, like God, didn't, God didn't make you to, to be doing something. She said she was naming all wicked kind of stuff. You know? Uh, Edomites don't reverence the most high. Okay? They don't. It's not in their spirit. Okay, it's in their spirit to reverence their power, which is Satan. Okay? The Lord made them the wicked. To be the wicked. Not to be uh, 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 like our people. He made them righteous, but he made them to be wicked as well. He didn't make Esau like that. Okay? This is uh, the book of Revelation, all right, chapter 7, verse 1. It says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on, on the earth. So the four corners is north, south, east, west, and um, winds represents the nuclear destruction. So with, with all that's going on in the news, where people think that there's about to be war immediately, like, no, man, the, the elect has to be sealed before the angels let loose the destruction. You know? Yeah. The Lord is holding back the destruction right now for the elect's sake. Go ahead. It says, uh, standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and to lock it, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, you neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our Lord in their foreheads. So the Lord, the destruction is not gonna come until all the elect is sealed with this knowledge, you know? After the elect is sealed, then the destruction is going to come. Yeah. You know, and the, the, the innumerable multitude. Right. So right now, this word 
has to spread even more and more. Mass J got to come in. You know, the Lord, the Lord, um, man, how does it say it? Oh, um, in Second Peter's that none would, but all would come to repentance. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. Get it? So, real quick, I don't want to butcher the scripture. What's happening? But the Lord has cared for His elect, you know, and, and, and those that truly believe. The Lord ain't just going to destroy this place without sealing His sons and daughters. Come on, man. And the Most High said He would not have it that any man shall perish. But that all should come to the print. That's it. To the That's it. Okay. Because uh -huh. the Lord don't want to see his people jacked up. But uh what is it? Zephaniah 13, 89? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Zachariah. Zachariah. Yeah. yeah, Zachariah 13, 89. Yeah. There's a there's a chosen two-thirds. There's a chosen that's chosen to be destroyed. Yeah. Okay. And nothing can change that. We're here to wake up the elect. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're concerned about. The two thirds, you know, we don't care about them right now. We don't care about them in the kingdom. Yeah. Okay. Eventually, all Israel can be saved. Right. But they have to put their judgment on this side. Right. And they have to feel that fire. You know? Yeah. Because see, Israel is proud. They were proud against the Lord back then. I gotta say it again. Let His blood be upon us and our generations, man. Now you, now you're in the time. When you have to pay. Now the Lord is coming to collect on that deal you made. Okay? He's coming to collect, man. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. If you were one of those back then that said that, if you was in that frame of mind and you agreed with that back then, then you're gonna have to pay in this time. Was that one of the Luis Barabbas? Yep. Yep. You know? Right. It's like uh, if a man is about to destroy his crops that are bad, he will pick the good out of the crops and then destroy everything else. You know? And that's what the Lord is going to do to our people. Yep. You know, like the scripture says in uh, Second Ezra 8, the Lord won't, he has a cluster saved for himself. It's just like if you got a bushel, a bushel of apples. Uh-huh. And one bad apple is up in there. Are you going to leave that apple up in there? No, No, because it's what's going to happen. It's going to get the other ones. Bad. Exactly. So what do you do? Get rid of it. You get rid of it. Yeah. You know, is that really showing prejudice? No. No, it's man. Common that's, sense. that's common sense. That's showing integrity yeah, common. to the to the ones that's still good. Yeah. You don't want to affect them with the bad. Okay? And that's what the Lord is going to do with the two thirds, man. He's uh, going to purge them out, man. Who was that uh one uh when all Israel was wicked, the Lord took one it was a young boy they took who's more righteous than them all. Remember that account? I think it was in Kings. He did that with Noah. That's the same thing. Noah was among all wickedness, man. Just him and his three sons and their their wives, four wives. Again with Lot. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Again with Lot. Exactly. Yeah. You know. So the Lord is about separation, separating the good from the bad, man. Yeah. Okay. Like, like when, with the temple, the Lord separates the holy from the unholy. Profane. Yeah. Profane. Yeah. It's, uh, finishing up, it says, uh, verse 4, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So, hey, like the brother was saying, man, it's not a thing about mass popularity, it's about trying to get the masses. Because yeah. the, the, the masses of our people, they're wicked, man. They're allotted to that destruction that the brother spoke about in Zechariah 13. When I talk about the masses, we're talking about the, the, the elect. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, when we talk about masses, we're talking about the elect and the one-third that are out there. Man. Yeah, the one that the, the, the Lord, you know, is uh, coming to save. All right? No, I appreciate it. It's uh, Ezekiel 9, 4. The Lord said unto him, Go to the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark on the forehead to the men that sigh, that cry for the abominations to be done in the midst of her. And that mark is the law, meaning exempt from judgment. And that mark is that same uh, seal the brother just read, Revelation 7. Yeah. How you exempt from judgment? Having 
the Lord's knowledge within you. Yeah. You know? And yeah. really it's predestination. Yeah. Predestination. Yeah. Maybe about being close to the beginning. Well, I got something. Yeah, did you finish that? No. The Lord's not gonna destroy those that sigh, that cry for the abomination that we done in the midst of them. And the ones that have that mark. The rock. Yeah. And for those that don't have the, the, the mark, at the wad, the exemption, they're going to be right here. They're going to be killed. Verse 5. And the others said, In my hearing, go after him to the city and smite. Let not their eyes spare, neither ye have pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Yeah. When they begin at the ancient, ha ancient men, which before the house. It's going to start with those of our people that know that they're Israelites, right? Yep. You know, and they're doing, you know, wickedness in the sight of the Lord, right? John says, right. slay utterly old, young, yeah. old maid and women, yeah. children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no one has escaped that Nobody spirit. Escaped. It don't matter if you're an old man or child, man. That yeah. spirit that was in you, that's within you, is going to catch that judgment. People have a problem with that. How can you say that, man? Hey, does it does it not say in Job 4, man, whoever perished being innocent, man? Right. You've had a past life before, man. Yeah. Are you you're you're paying for what you did in the past, man? You're paying for what you're doing right now as well. Alright? So yeah, women, children, alright. Both uh yeah, maids, women, children, they're, they're all gonna die. Alright? And it's gonna be the Lord that does it. Yeah. Issues of death and life belong to you know much of your side. Man, when you go out, you judge him. This is uh, Habakkuk 2, I'm going to start at 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what, the, what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. Hey, that's us. We're like a real yep. watch mirror, you know, on our spiritual watchtower, using the internet, looking out on how, what the Lord is speaking to, to his men. See what the apostle is saying, see what the spirit is bringing out, see what the news, what's, what's the spirit, what's going on. You know, we're on that tower, man. That's right. And we we laser focus like, oh, okay, we Esau coming with Kanye, the demonizers. Okay, we see we see uh, all these celebrities coming out. Uh, the truth is, is about to be in the forefront. We see uh, all these uh, agent evil Israelite camps, you know, we see all of these things, man. Yeah. War. John, we also see a lot of both sides judgment oh, going out all over the oh. world. Like what just happened recently in uh, South Korea. What was it, 146 people died because a uh, building fell on them or something because there was that Halloween celebration? It was a stampede. Stampede. Yeah, that was celebrating Halloween. That's another thing. That stampede, man, 140. Yeah. Dead. Both sides of judgment is going on across the whole planet as well. All the earthquakes, you know, hurricanes, stuff like that. Ooh, a brother brought out if thousands of earthquakes ever been since in a while, like so many earthquakes in one month. Yeah, I was reading some about uh, Yellowstone National Park. Right here. Damn, son. Still old? Keeps falling, yeah. Yellowstone, they had like 500 different earthquakes in like one month. In a month of 500. In that one space. You know, in the month of like August. And it goes on to say, have a coup two and two. And the Lord Yahweh by Shimmy Hawashai answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. These are the visions upon the tables. These prophecies that we speak, we come out of the book, we speak them. These are the visions that our forefathers seen. Now we're, we're able to see them about to come on the scene, or if not seen, some of them fulfilled. The scripture says, bless are your eyes when you see and bless are you your ears for you hear, for many righteous men have desired what you see, and now you see it. Yeah. We all see it, man. We see the downfall of Esau. We see it. Uh, uh, the Lord getting ready to come back and, and destroy this place. We see the wickedness, you know, uh, overflowing. We see it. Esau trying to uh, 
establish a new world order and thing, you know? It says, though it takes, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Hey, just like a movie, you want to get to the, the sweet part where, where the, the, the good versus bad guy uh, head, go head on. No, man, you got to wait for the build-up. So the movie is at the build-up right now. You know, just wait. Wait on the Lord. He, he's doing his, his work, man. Wait yeah. on the Lord. Yeah, the it seems like it's taking a long time. It's not. It's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to strike through, man. It's going to come like a thief in the night if you're not paying attention. Hey, the Lord is speaking through the prophets all across the earth, but our people are not listening. They looking and shining off. Oh, what are they doing? They look crazy over there. I wouldn't be doing that. Okay, it's Saturday afternoon. They should be somewhere having fun. Okay, but this is fun to us. Okay, this is what we. This is what we love to do. We love to come out here because we understand that this is the truth, man. There's no other truth. There's many lies, but there's only one truth, okay? And we're standing with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai on that truth, man. Yeah. He's giving it to us, and we are proclaiming it, okay? Whether you grasp it or not, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, then you don't. You're going to get burned up. You're going to get tore up in this world, man. The things that the Lord has coming to this world, it says, uh, what, uh, uh, Daniel 12 and 2, like it's going to be a time like never before, okay? It's been some horrific times on this earth, man. All right? To say it's going to be worse than that, and this is the, this is the cheat codes, as they say. We got the cheat codes on how you're going to win. Okay? You can win back here, but you're going to lose if you go against this truth. You're going to lose terribly. Every time, yeah. At the end of the day, it's just a, a lack of faith. Those people have, they don't truly believe. They don't yep. fear. Well, yeah, how about you help shot? Hey, bro, who don't like hearing good news all day? We love hearing the good news. This is the good news. Who, who likes bad news? They don't want to hear it. They, they want to see it. Right. Yeah. And so, in two, that Esau has painted this narrative. Okay. Esau then painted this narrative with Chesro Bear. Chesro Bear. Chesro Bear. Chesro Bear. Got him at the helm leading the charge. Yeah, okay. And when they see that image, and you mentioned Yahweh Shai. Where's the image of Yahweh Shai? Okay. When they see this image here, they get butt hurt. Okay. Now all of a sudden, the, the, the color don't matter. Okay. But as long as he was at the helm, okay, as long as he was uh, uh, Edomite number one, all right, it's all good. Okay. But just as soon as you, as soon as you mention these people, mention the Lord, all of a sudden, we're anti this, we're anti that. Okay? That's very real, man, to our people. This isn't good news, man. They, they, they want to stay oppressed forever. They want to, they want the white, so-called white man to be their God forever. Yeah. They, they can't see past this wicked rulership, man. They want approval yeah. from him. They just wait for him to say, you did a good job. <laughs> They're never going to get it. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's all they want. Yeah, God. Yeah. Not even money. No. Just that pat on the head or pat on the shoulder. Okay. From the devil. From your oppressor, man. Hey, yeah. to them, we're like the, the slave, that rebellious slave on the in the field. Hey, don't, don't, don't disturb master mm -hmm. now. <laughs> don't disturb master now. Oh, you know, Steven on Django. Oh, Django? Yeah. Uh, 2 Peter 3, 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying. So like, he's, that with that Hebrew uh, picture, Hebrew to uh, uh, from, uh, America, the uh, Hebrew? Hebrews to Negroes. Hebrews to Negroes. So like, yeah, that Kyrie uh, put up, there's so many um, hate for that. And that, he didn't even say nothing. He just posted a picture. So when these people hear the men of the Lord, because this truth is gonna, Esau can't, he can't, he has to address it. Eventually, everybody gotta address this truth. Yeah, right. See what 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 Kimye came out with. What he came out with is lies. Okay, because he said we are Jew too. What do you mean two? <laughs> they are not. 
Okay, there's nothing about them that's J E W H or J U D A H. Nothing about them. Okay, well, we are that too. Okay, no man, you come with you're supposed to tell them that you're not. You are Hebrew, yes, but you are Hebrew Edomite. Exactly. Just join hand in hand with them. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're Hebrews. <laughs> We're Hebrews too. Yeah. No, you're, you're not. We are true Hebrew Israelites. I mean, they came out of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. They came out of ancient. Right. You're the ones that came out of ancient. Not you. Yeah. Like I didn't finish. I kind of didn't finish. I was saying, but like you know, how like everybody's gonna have to dress it, and then people are gonna demon. They're gonna demonize everything. Yeah, they already are. Yeah. Yeah, like even simple stuff that Kyrie is saying. They're Oh, he's, you got our own people on the comments talking about, oh, this is hateful and shameful. Why would you bring this out? So imagine when the truth is out, they're going to talk all type of shit about the truth, man. Well, let them do it because yeah. that's their, that's their lot. Okay. Yeah. That's their, that's their square they came to stand back on. Okay. Just in the Lord back then. Don't worry to hear the oh. truth back then. And now you come and doing the same thing. But in this time, you're going to get your judgment. And it's going to be something nasty and ugly, okay? Because you're being nasty and ugly toward your how about shooting your shot, okay? Still holding, proclaiming that this this dog stream, blue eyed, pale headed demon dog thing is the Lord, okay? And holding up, holding that up. Don't want to see your true power in His glory. You don't want to see that. Okay, so you're gonna have to pay for that, man. Straight up. John, back in Second uh, Peter 3, 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking in, walking after their own bus. So there's gonna be a mass uh, amount of believers and a mass amount of people that just love talking shit. Alright, and the scripture says, every idle word shall be accounted for in the day of judgment. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. So that's just going back to, uh, you know, Lord Terry, wait for it, you know? A lot of people don't want to wait for it. They're like, where's the promise of his coming? You know, well, the Lord said, you know, you got to watch out for these prophecies, man. No man knows the date or the hour. Yeah, a lot of our people, they think they're going to grow old in America. And... In their children's time, the Lord's going to come back. No, man. The Lord said, uh, it, it won't, uh, to all, uh, man, how does it go? Something about to this be fulfilled in this generation. This generation is not passed away. Yeah, God. So in this generation, you're going to see the Lord. All right? Yeah. He, he's going to come back, man. It ain't going to be no 20, 10 years. The Lord's going to come back, man. And, and we're seeing the signs that the Lord is, is his, his return is drawing near. Right, this, this thing is in, it's in, it's in labor, okay, the, the, the coops that, the, it did, what do they call it when it expands, it did dilate it, what is, what, when, the, when the hole opens up, no, it's not contraction, it's contraction. It dilated, okay, it's, it's, this place is dilated, ready for that birth, man, ready for the birth of, of the king of the Yahweh, Jimmy Shai, man. Okay, the birth pains are here. Okay, this tension that's in the air between the nations, okay, especially between Esau and Jacob, okay, which our people don't want to, they don't want to claim to be Jacob. Yeah. You got the, the adversary out there claiming to be Jacob. But what does he do in, on behalf of Jacob? Where, where are they on the streets? Do you see them on the streets anywhere? Do you see them defending the gospel? We come up against them all the time. But where are they defending the gospel? Yeah. Nowhere. Nowhere to be found, man. Okay? They'll walk by us and won't have nothing to say. We'll call them out. Hey, yo, you you a J-E-W, you this, you that? They just keep on walking. Why? Because they know they cannot go against this truth, man. Okay, the narrative they have been pushing in this earth is over. It's over. The thing with, with Yay, this is the most high ending it. 
Okay, he's the one bringing this thing out, man. Putting up, putting, putting up, up on trial. Okay. So, so Book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, 10. It says, They are not humble even unto this day. Neither have they feared nor walked in my law nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. And like this brother was saying, they're the same spirits that was talking message to Yahweh Shai. Let his blood be upon our children, you know, upon us. They were the same people. Oh, oh he, he could deliver everybody else, but he can't save right. himself. They're the same people, man. They're not humble. Even with the Lord, almost destroying them in slavery, giving them that good, full belt ass whooping, they're still not humble, man. Second Ezra, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Second Ezra is 9 and uh, oh, yeah, 22. It's uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 22. All right. No the 21. It's uh, 21. It says, And I saw and I spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of, of the cluster and the plant of a great people. And that's the elect. That, that grape of cluster, the good, the good, the good ones. All right, the elect and the true believers of Yahweh Shemel Shai, the Lord's going to keep them. But the rest of our people, the Lord's going to dispose of them like trash. Verse 20, oh, verse 21. Verse 22. It says, let the multitude perish, then which was my, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept, and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. Great labor of the Lord made the elect perfect, man. Yeah, and how's that gonna happen, man? We're gonna take the load, man. We're gonna we're we're gonna catch hell on this side, man. We're not gonna always be up, you know, up top. But uh, the thing is, man, you know, to to achieve that perfection, man, you know, we, we gotta go through it. Yep. And it said they that were born in vain. Yeah. Two thirds of our people were born in vain. They were born to feel these mysteries, man. Right. Let's read that again. Yeah, God, I'll read it again. Yeah. It's verse twenty-two. It says, "Let the multitude perish." Which was born in vain. Said, Let the multitude perish. Yeah. The Lord don't give a damn about the two thirds out here and on this side. Yeah. The Lord don't give a damn about these other nations. You know? That's a whole lot of people. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America. Now, that's a whole lot of people, man. Right? You know, a lot of you born in vain, like the scriptures say. Like a drop to a wave, man. Yeah, yeah, people right. are going to be saved. They most of you are born in vain. Yeah. That's, why, that's why you should be really scared. Because the chances of you not making it is greater right. than the chances of you making it, man. Right. It's a greater chance that you're not of the elect, okay, than it is that you are of the elect. And if you're not of the elect, you're going to feel the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, which is poured out without mixture, okay? That's just like drinking some 151 rum, oh, okay, without being mixed with anything. Okay, that's 75% alcohol. 75.5% percent alcohol, pure, almost pure. Okay. By by fuck up your liver. Everything. Blood, kidneys, everything. Just smelling it might get you. Exactly. My dad was telling me stories like those those people in El Salvador that you know really get fucked up. You know, they they start drinking that that rubbing alcohol. See? You know, and th like the brother saying, that, that shit affects your liver, man, your organs, your kidney. All that shit begins to fail, man. Yep. You know, and, and that, like the brother saying, that's that mixture without remedy. Man. Right. That, that hatred that the Lord's going to have on you, people. You know, when you get destroyed, man, it, it, there's going to be no stopping. Yep. And imagine drinking that down. Yeah. You got to drink a whole shot. Uh, damn, you know, man. you got to drink it. You can't sip it. You got to drink it down. Now, imagine the burn. Oh, okay, <laughs> this is the burn that you're gonna be feeling from your Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. Okay, they have takes that drink, that drink a whole bottle of Hennessy and then in the hospital. Exactly. So imagine the wrath of a boy, you're gonna be pulverized and destroyed. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we are. I was trying to find it, but uh, I was just roughly paraphrasing. 
yeah, like the scripture said, man, you know, inquire how the righteous are going to be saved, man. Because the vast majority, they're going to die, man. You know, so worry about your chances of trying to make it the hell out of here. All right, do everything that you can right now. All right, so verse 20, uh, we were at 22. It says, let the multitude perish then which is born in vain, and let my grave be kept, and my plant for the great labor have I made it perfect. This is uh, 1 Peter 4, 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to Him in well-doing and unto the faithful Creator. And yeah, the righteous are going to be scarcely be saved. Just going back to the point of how there's more people, there's more chance of you not being part of the elect than you are being part of the elect. It's a very small number. But, hey, being on this side, worshiping the Lord give you a higher chance. Yeah, God. You know, better it's, than no chance. <laughs> Shit. It's crazy if you think about it, because like out of everybody in the whole world, we're out here trying to, you know, push Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, trying trying to, you know, do better, you know, uh, more than. Sacrifice our lives for this truth, man. She's going to be part of that elect. One of these, Yahweh Shai. Scripture says, Kiss the sun, lest you be angry, and come to tear you to pieces. Let me paraphrase it. We're going to wipe the blood off our hands, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, we can be delivered. We don't care what the outside world thinks. We don't care about the scoffers. We don't care about the two dirt fucking and shit. We don't care about, you know, whatever punishment, whatever we have to deal with at the same time. We want to send that stuff to bring you on And we're like the, a woman that comes back to her husband after doing him wrong and just trying to uh, do everything right, you know, everything on the point, listen, you know, trying our best to please the Lord, man. So we're going to rehearse the righteous acts, you know, we're not going to be on point at everything, you know, we're going to go off at here and there, we're yeah. rehearsing the righteous acts. This time. We're also here, you know, this change of darkness in this flesh, but, you know, like like we said earlier, man, sometimes we have low days, man, you know, amen, you know, we, we, we just strive for, you know, perfection, man, that's the end of the thing. Yeah, we keep lost that to the best of our ability, you know, yeah. we'll let their sins weigh us down, yeah. not the sins weigh you down, we keep the lost that to the best of our ability. Uh, that's you know, yeah, since we're talking about uh, not letting your sins weigh you down, this, uh, uh, this, uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 14, and uh, I'll start at uh, 1. It says, Blessed is the man that hath not slipped with his mouth and is not pricked with the multitude of his sins. It says, Blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him and who hath not fallen from his hope in the Lord. Okay, so blessed are we men who, you know, we're not condemned, you know, who, the sins that we commit, you know, we're trying to make it right with you, how Basha and Yahusha ask for forgiveness, you know, when we slip up, all right, you know, and do, do, do the best, you know, moving on. With we don't, we don't let that, you know, weigh us down, like it says in the scriptures. The righteous man fall it and get back up. Yeah. While, while the wicked man, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna fall in his mischief. Man. You know, he's gonna let that condemn himself. He's gonna let that, let that destroy himself. Fight to get better. Yes, really, what it is. You know, fight to get better with the Lord. Yes. And if you slip up, we fight to get better, make it better. Yeah. And, and, and with everything, man, we ask for Yahweh Bashim Yahshai the strength to pick us back up, man. You know, because we all need it. Oh, that was. Back in Matthew chapter 24, and uh, let's see, we were at 14, I believe. Yeah. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. That's right. And then shall the end come. Hey, this word is going out everywhere. All, right. I, there's almost, there's pretty much a camp in every country, even amongst other nations. Yeah, you, you got people over there in the Philippines, man, calling on the names of the Apollo and Yahweh Shai. Hey, and even so, the Lord has made it to where uh, a person in another country can watch
watch our videos and it has translation. Yeah. Or, you know, the word is just going out. Yeah, the blind, sign language. Yeah, the yeah. blind can see, I mean, not the blind, but the deaf people. Yeah. To hear the sign language and all that. Hey, the brother's yeah. teaching in Espanol, yeah. man. You, you have brothers everywhere. Can I better get 2 uh, Maccabees chapter 2, 2 verse 1 and 2 seconds? Second Maccabees 1 and 27? Yeah. Uh, it's the Second Maccabees chapter 1 verse 27. Gather those together that are scattered from us, deliver them that serve among the heathen, look upon them that are despised and abhorred. And let the heathen know that thou art our power. Gather those that are scattered from us. Deliver them. That's so. Alright. Gather those together that are scattered from us. Deliver them that are that serve among the heathen. So the Lord is going to gather all the elect that serve in him in spirit and in truth amongst the heathen. All the nations, the Israelite, Israelite foreigners. The, the scripture didn't say he's gonna gather the, the Israelites and the heathens. No, he said gather them that are among the heathens. That's right. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred. The ones that are despised and abhorred. You know, we're the outcasts, man. We have these curses on us, man. All these nations hate us. Man. They all want to destroy us. Beginning, man. Let come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Right? We are despised and abhorred on side, man. No matter what nation you're in. Hey, and that shows you that you Jews, you, you rats, are not the true, I don't know why I said Jews, but yeah. issues. Yeah. You rats, you rats ain't really the people because when someone shows you that they despise you, what do you do? You shut it down. You know, you're not held to an open chain. If anything, you're, everybody pampers you and, and caters to you. Oh, you can't say that. But the true Israelites, they're held in an open shame, man. We're, we're a byword, we're a proverb, we're a reproach. Right, those sayings, you know who, you, who, you, who your master is are the ones that you can't criticize. We'll roughly paraphrase you know, that's By the way, like speak against you know, those fake Jews, you know, because they know they'll get shut down. Israel, you know, everybody can stomp on us, man. Nobody gives a damn about us. You know, we're the laughing stock, the engaging stock, you know, constantly beating off on, making fun of. All these by words are created. You know, they speak out against us. You can't even say one thing, not even even just one word about a uh, rat. And it ain't even gotta be a, a harmful word. You can just say we're the Jews and, and it's a big problem. Yeah. 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 But look upon them that are despised and abhorred, and let the heathen know that thou art our power. Punish them that oppress us, and with pride do us wrong. So soon the Lord is going to punish them that oppress us, and that do us wrong in their pride. And that's Esau, the so called white man, man. That's right. So say, Jacob, thou wert, man. You know, we have no defense out there. Anybody can stomp on us and take advantage of us. Uh, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. We lost the power that was in our hands. Our fight. Our nation is going to our enemies for the one of all things. You know? So that's what we're the ones that the scripture is talking about. And they, they had a new preview of a, a movie with Houston. And guess who she had to go to for her talent to be displayed to the world? A damn rat. She didn't go to the other Jakes. No, she went to Iraq, man. Well, we gotta go to Esau for one of all things. Yeah, you know, and ultimately that chain leads up to the Amalek. But they got they own everything. Uh, I got this piece up, uh, just backing these brothers up. You know, uh, they were speaking about how these small hats they can't be criticized, man. That they, they, they shut that shit down. But you know, uh, this uh, the book of Revelation, chapter two, verse nine. 
It says, I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Now, how, how is that? Apply? That doesn't apply to them, man. They, they, they've never gone through a, a, anything that our people went through, man. Yeah. But, 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 but as far as poverty. Even, even as far as poverty. Man, they, they're living comfortably, man. Beyond comfortably. Beyond comfortably, man. You know, so that's how you know, man, these, these scriptures don't apply to them, man. That's why they don't bring the scriptures out. Yeah. That's why they don't read the scriptures, man. Yeah. Okay. They deny you how shy. They, they do not bring. I have not heard a, a one of them people bring out any scriptures ever. Yeah, the book that they push out is the Talmud, but right. And that, that's, a, that's a book of wickedness, man. It says, I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty. That's right there. Thy works, thy tribulation, and thy poverty. Right? Okay. You know, Amalek he owns every industry out there. Entertainment industry, the oil industry. Whoever's at the top of the industry is going to be some some bird or some, some gold steam. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the last name. You know? Yeah. They, they run everything. And that's why they're calling the elites, because they're at the top. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching. Uh, Watching Atlanta last night, that show with uh, Campio, Campio, what's his name? Charles Gambino? Yeah. Uh, Danny Global. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 And he did a show about uh, about Disney where they had elected black man, something Washington, I forgot his name, Thomas Washington, to be the CEO of Disney. Okay? When he got in there, he started pushing black stuff you know what i'm saying so-called black this black narratives and stuff long story short this guy ends up dead they ain't find it they found his found his car in the bottom of some kind of lake he never found his body okay they wanted to give him 75 million dollars over the course of 10 years for him to retire but he didn't want to resign okay so they resigned okay <laughs> But that goes to show that Esau is in control. Even when Jake Dickey got control, you don't have control. They don't want to see you doing nothing that's going to uplift your people, man. It's over. It's all about white supremacy in this land, man. Okay? Only way that's going to be stopped is when Yahweh Shai comes back. That's it. White supremacy that was set up by Yahweh Shai. That's it. It's the only way they got their power is through given unto them from the heavens, yep. right, for a purpose, you know, to be the whipping stick and the weapon to us, man. Yeah. Plus, this is not our kingdom, it's theirs. Right. Yeah. The Lord said, what did he say? If this was my kingdom, my servant would fight. That's it. Yep. Okay. So the servants aren't fighting right now. We sitting back and watching. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait until, until the Lord rises up to the Yeah. No. Then you're gonna know when the Lord rises up to the break, when he put his put the spirit on his men, you're gonna know it's okay. the Lord. You're yeah, gonna yeah. know. Yeah. You're seeing some things you've never seen before yeah. that, that a man is gonna do. Yeah. The most I is gonna you know, how about Shimia Shah is gonna do what he do with his men with a certain type of power, a yeah. standard. When hey. the enemy shall come in like a flood, a standard shall be set up against him. Hey bro, I was talking to this patient, right? And I was like, hey, I'm going to check out that new movie, Adam. And then I asked her, what would you do if a man had superpowers? You know what she said to me? She said, run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, even even at Black Adam, it's not going to be like that. It's, gonna it's not, not going to be like Hancock, where Hancock had a, uh, he had a, uh, Edomite, that was his, uh, what do they call it, his, when you don't have your power, uh, his kryptonite, his kryptonite, yeah, yeah his, his, uh, where is slipping me, his weakness, yeah. right, uh -huh. it's not going to be a weakness, man, uh -huh. even in, in, uh, in Black Adam, he had a weakness, yeah. you know what I'm saying, he was getting, he was getting cut, yeah. he had to heal himself, and all, that ain't going to be none of that, man, yeah. okay, yeah. All this, that's fantasy, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's, why, that's Esau yeah. wishing yeah. that something like that will happen. He wishing that when we get the power, we'll submit to him and say, okay, I'm going to go to prison yeah. and let you lock me up, okay? And I'm out here by your rules, but I can take the cell door off. And nothing you can do 
to stop me from what I want to do. But I'm gonna still give in to you. Well, that's, that's all for theatrics and dramatic effect. You gotta give the hero a weakness. You know, yeah. Superman has to have that kryptonite so Lex Luthor can come up in there and take him down. It's to add dramatic. Yeah. It's a drama to it. Bro. But they, yeah, they, elect, they don't have no kryptonite. No. <laughs> I was thinking about that, and I was, that scripture ran to my mind, uh, nothing by any means shall hurt you. Yeah. The scripture said he's going to tread upon scorpions, serpents, and scorpions, nothing by any means of the enemy shall hurt you. And no weapon formed against the earth shall prosper. Okay. As you were saying that, I was just thinking of how our Lord is going to return, man, you know, it's right now, he's not coming to bring peace on earth, but a sword, man. And there's going to be nothing stopping him, man. Yep. You know, it, it, the scriptures, when you read it, it he's going to scream as a traveling woman, man. There's yep. going to be no stopping that anger that he's going to come with. All right, damn. Yep. I was just thinking, damn, that, that's wild, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. He's been holding that anger in for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Vengeance okay. on his mind, man. Because he sees it all, man. Yeah. He sees it all. Yeah. And you don't think he want to come down here and do something? Yeah. He do. And Revelation, it says to those that pierce him, all eyes are oh. going to see him. Woo. So he, that yep. vengeance, is, it's, in, it's in his mind. Yeah. Them right there that did that? Yeah. It's going to be <laughs> hell, bro. It's uh, going to be hell. I hate to be one of them. The Lord got his eye on you. Yeah. Okay? I got a piece of Yeah. Uh, Leviticus 26, 7. And you shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. For I will have respect unto you, and I will make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. And the scripture says, them that are feeble among you shall be in a day as my David. But you will put a hundred to put ten thousand men to flight. Five to put a hundred to flight. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, he saw he ain't gonna have no kryptonite. He come with his super soldiers. You know, he come with his Iron Man suits or whatever weapons he has hidden away. You know, and they say he's gonna put them to flight. Yeah. They're gonna be running. Okay, there ain't nobody gonna stand up and try to fight you, man. They're gonna run. Okay, they're gonna scatter like roaches when the lights come on. All different ways. Choo, choo, choo. You know, but with spirit, spiritual power, you know, we're gonna get them all. Every last one of them. Everyone that, that, that you're after, you're gonna get them. Okay? So, Esau, you're just prolonging your time. Well, you're really not prolonging your time. It just seems like you're prolonging your time. You know, you just better enjoy yourself while you can, man. Okay, because after this, it's all downhill for you. All downhill, man. Every lifetime you come back, every time you come back, incarnation is going to be downhill. Okay, probably going to be worse than the one you came from that last life. It's going to constantly get worse and worse and worse and worse. Okay, after a thousand years, you're never going to come back. Yep. As Esau. As Esau, exactly. That's all. Uh, let me finish that revelation. Yeah, let's finish that revelation. So back in Revelation chapter 2, verse 9, it says, I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So amen, our people, man, we're the ones, you know, going through this tribulation. We're the ones at the bottom, man. No, not these small hats. It says, I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And he knows thou art rich. How are we rich through this word, this truth, this knowledge, man? The ones that are that are blessed enough to understand it and to get it. This is the true riches right here. This is the riches that we're stacking up in heaven, man. This is the knowledge, man. It's the only thing that matters, man. This is what wakes us up in the morning, you know, and brings our breath, you know, to our lungs, man. Yeah. It says, and I know thou blasphemy them which say they are Jews and are not. Blasphemy means lies. So the ones that are lying out here are you rats. Yeah, straight and, up. And with all the situations that's going out, the show going on with the celebrities, they're showing even more that no one could question you because you're, you're quick to uh, crack down because it's a lie. When a person knows they're lying, they get defensive. 
and the first thing they do, they cry anti this and anti that. But what about the facts that he's mentioning that these people are? Yeah. When are you going to address that? Okay, address the, the, the question. Okay, why are you jumping to the defense? Okay, we've all we've already heard so many times about anti this and anti that. What about the narrative that the word Jew comes from Judah? Okay, that that the so-called Negroes in in America are the real Jews. What about that? All right, address that. But you don't want to address that. You address all oh, they they got hate. They hate from the biggest hater on the planet, okay? No one hates like this dude, man. No one's a thief like this dude. Okay, they'll bust you for stealing a candy bar out of a store, but they steal nations, okay? They steal whole countries, all right? They steal, they, they find out you got a diamond mine, oh shit, them, you know those diamonds, they're really not worth anything. You know, we'll come and take them off your hands. What? Okay. Anything that you have, they coming to take it. Oil. To take it. Oil. Don't don't mention oil. They go to salivate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got okay. oil. Let me just give you some democracy. That's it. I got what you need. You got what we need. Hey, you, you remember that country that came out? Was it Uganda? I believe. That came out that they found billions of gold. You had all these people like, oh, why you tell America that now? <laughs> but see, that gold right there, that's the gold for the kingdom, bro. Yeah. All them tons of gold. That's how you know it's the end. Yeah. The Lord is revealing he got all the gold we need to build up the kingdom. Yeah. Okay? And can't nobody test that gold, man. That's your Yahweh Shimmy Shai's gold for the kingdom. Not even these devils. They don't know right. how to They can't. It's locked up. They can't even wear gold. Yeah. You ever seen an Edomite in gold for jewelry? No. An Edomite man? No. No, man. They don't even look right in gold and silver. Yeah. Brothers can wear chains and gold and rings and watches and all of that. Yeah. And look tight. It just enhances brothers. Yeah. Put it on Esau, he look like a damn monkey. Oh. <laughs> like you're trying to dress up a pig and... With, you know what they say, how they say you put a, a jewel in a big snout. Okay? Go ahead. Here go the Esau guy. That's he, he's storing it up for us. Man. Yep. He's storing it up for the elect. You can come get it, build up the kingdom for it. Yeah, know? Esau is weird. He'll steal somebody's store gold to store it. Yeah. <laughs> we will use it to build our, in the kingdom, we're going to use it to pay for our floors, man. Yeah. You know, like Skip was talking about our, our, our floors, like glass and gold or something of that sort. Yeah, the pavement, bro. Yeah. We understand that's going to charge us up. Yeah. Daredevil likes to look at it like, oh, I got it all. <laughs> I was going to add, like, during the era of the California gold rush, man, you know, there's a reason why it was in the water, man. You know, it, it, man, it gives you, like, those nutrients, man. It's it, it, it it's yeah. yeah, antibacterial, it's purified. It, uh, like the brother saying, man, you know, that gold, all these uh, different, uh, these uh, different precious metals, man, they enhance us. Yeah, especially the stones. Yeah, it's have a own little vibration to it, you know. So yeah, we're gonna use the earth, man, yeah. the way it's supposed to be used. You know? Exactly. That natural resources, yeah. and actual resources, you know. Yeah. Not just to do some bullshit with it, you know. Hey, I seen a, I seen a uh, East Indian. And some, and some gold. It's Funny style, bro. <laughs> Look weird, bro. Oh, had a had a regular shirt on. He had the gold on. It just don't look right. Yeah, like but I see, I see Issachar and some gold. He had his earrings on. He had his chain on. He looked fresh as ever. Yeah. <laughs> fresh. Okay. That's how you know we the people, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Special they can't. People. Go ahead, bro. No, they, they can't do nothing but talk against us, man. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing they can do is just talk shit. But the proof is in the pudding, as they say. All right? We're the best at everything. We look the best. We, we smell the best. Okay? And we're, we're just a better people. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Okay? 
we have to keep the, the entire world going down man. without us man you know this this world will go to shit exactly remember they had that show a day without a mexico oh okay you know exactly. everything was done uh, so deuteronomy 76 without our holy <laughs> people the lord thy power holy meaning separate the lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself yeah chosen chosen me to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth above all now go to go to 14 and uh 14 and 1 above all people that are upon the face of the earth man he didn't say equal uh, uh what's the constitution say god have created that that oh, uh, all people are created all equal. men are created equal yeah. That's going against the laws of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Read 14. So 14 and 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people hey, unto himself. God don't have favorites, right? Right. <laughs> and get 2nd Edward 6. And you have favorites. The, the ultimate power has a favorite people, man. Peculiar people unto himself above all the nations See? That are upon the earth. All the nations. So if you if you got stuck on people, now he letting you know that even as a nation, that the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you ones scattered into the other nations, that you're above all these other nations, man. You're not equal with them. Well, they're not equal to you, okay? Which Esau tried to make it equal, but then upon that, he tried to make everybody else equal, but us less than a man yeah. we three-fifths of a man it takes two of us to make one man okay that's right but you're not black all right you're not a monkey you didn't evolve from a monkey but you're not a nigger you know, you're a people israelite man from tribe of whatever you're one of these 12 tribes man we're special people above all people man yep. you're not an african from hamite all right that's right, six and fifty three yeah, yeah. Got you. It's uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 53. It says, Upon the sixth day thou gavest a commandment unto the earth, that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Right. Of him come we all. Okay. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people whom thou hast chosen, man. Yeah. So letting you know everybody come of them, but also that there is a special people that the Most High chose, okay? You can't get around that, all right? That's three precepts we just brought out on that, okay? Go ahead. It is many more. Go ahead. It's verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made us the world for our sake. Oh, yeah. that right there. The world was made for our sake, our bro. World. It's, it's our the world. world. Yeah. Our world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it says, uh, as for the other people which also come of Adam, uh -huh. thou hast said that they are nothing. They what? They are nothing. They are what? That they are nothing. Nothing, but? But be like a spittle. What is spittle? Spit. When was the last time you checked for your spit? When was the last time you checked for your spit? Even as a little baby, you never check for your spit. You spit and you keep it moving. <laughs> okay? You nations are that spit that the Lord never look back at. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's right. Never. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. It says, uh, Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. The abundance of them to one drop. That is, that's cold blooded, bro. That's cold. Yeah. Okay, and then what? Who, who checked for that drop? Nobody. That then fell in the dirt. <laughs> and then got absorbed. It got absorbed. It's done. The sun hit it. It dried it's up. It's dried up. What are you thinking about? Yep. 
You remember that drop uh, we spilled back in 1953? <laughs> oh, I was carrying the bucket <laughs> and it fell out. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about, Willie? <laughs> And Isaiah said there's less than nothing. Less than nothing. So on the on the on the scale, like on the, the, the uh, ruler or on the numbers, you got zero, you got one, positive one, positive two, and then you got zero, you got a negative one, yeah. a negative two, and it goes negative to infinity. Yeah. Okay? So they're they in the negative, man. Okay? The negative. You ain't even zero. <laughs> what? Yeah. Less than nothing. Less than nothing. Man. Back at uh, Second Ezra six and fifty-seven, it says, "And now, O, o Lord, behold, these heathens, which have ever been reputed as nothing, mm -hmm. have begun to be lords over us mm -hmm. and ever. to devour us." Even, even when we was in the garden, even when we were the sons of God. There was nothing. They never, ever, ever since they've been created, they ain't been nothing. Never, never been anything to the Lord. They never right. mattered, yeah. They never mattered. He, this is he, about Jacob and Esau. Right. He made them to be a tool. Okay? He created them to be the wicked. He created that thing that is crooked. Okay, that can't be straightened. Okay, he, he created them for what? The day of evil. All right, and after the Lord has used them, like He does, like they do us, if they use us, what do they do? Discard us, like it's nothing, like you've never been there. Okay, look at the way, look at the way that they, like they did, uh, Michael Jackson, the King of Pop. Okay. Hey, you're gonna have to nothing, order. Nothing, man. They treated him, yeah, they treated him yeah, like he never sold out. an yeah. album. Okay. When he was the biggest artist ever, okay? But that's the devil, man. What do you expect? How people expect love from this devil, man? Man, they don't understand that he is really, like, made crooked. Like, you can't straighten this guy. No, you can't. He's forever going to be really crooked. You can't. That's, the, that's, that's his makeup. He was made out of evil. Yeah. Okay. He was made from evil dough or evil clay. Yeah. This clay over here is righteous. This is the evil clay. Inside and out. Through and through. Every mor every morsel. Okay. Every thought. It's evil and wicked. That's uh, Job 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Exactly. Not one. Not one. How, how much you think you can change the devil, like, you can't change it. Anymore, but, uh, you and I hate them, them, no, I them oh, Jake, uh, Love and Esau movie where Jake tried to abridge uh, the hate between Esau and and uh, Israelites that are suffering. I hate those movies, like Helper and stuff yeah. like that. Like, you ain't never going to get this man to show you tender mercy. You ain't never going to get this man to see what you see and feel what you feel. Yep, that's it's just like this story about the guy who, I don't know if it was a guy or woman, who nursed the serpent back to help. The snake oh, was sick him. and the, the serpent, when he got back, fell, bit him. And he was like, why'd you bite me? I, said, no. <laughs> I, I nursed you back to help. Yeah, He's like, you knew I was a snake. Yeah. So what the heck, man, what did you expect? Yeah, that's okay. in the book of Sarah. Who shall pity a, a charmer that gets yeah. uh, bitten by a serpent. Exactly. Okay. And that serpent, it's Esau. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And the charmers are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's still seeking love, man, from this guy. After all that he's shown you is hate. And somehow now in 2022, he's going to show you love. Okay. Go so, ahead. Yeah. So Jeremiah 13 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin mm. or the leopard his spots? Nope. Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Right. They're accustomed to doing evil. The so-called white man is the epitome of evil, man. Him and his woman. Okay? That's what they were put on the earth to do. To be a sword against the nation of Israel. You don't see them coming after the other nations like they come after us. Why? Because that's the Lord's plan. He made them to be that way. Okay? They were accustomed to do evil. They were 
created to do evil. So if the leopard can change his spots, then that means that they can do good. And they right. can't. So the leopard cannot change his spots. So the purpose of the and even with some of these Edomites that get busted for pedophilia, who do you see there? You see Edomite, uh, the devil. So, and look at, look at Bill Gates. Who you see pushing hard like Bill Gates, the devil woman. The Edomite, Edomite woman. They're both devils, man. You can't change either one of them. Oh no, don't forget that back in the, back in the days of uh, slavery, they had to make a law for the Edomite woman. Because all the Jake children that were in her hands, she would kill them. Okay? So they made it not a crime for a white woman to kill an a Israelite a child. Not even a crime. It was just something that happened. She lost control. You ever had a bad day? Okay, where you lose control? That's what happened to her. She'll be alright tomorrow. But meanwhile, the little Jake child is dead. Dead. Okay? Uh, Jeremiah 30, 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee mm. shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all the prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Man. So, yeah, that's that revenge. Yeah. You know, those around comes around. Yeah. You know? They devoured us, so we're going to devour them. You know? Yeah. You know, they put us into captivity, so it's time for you to go into captivity. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They, they prayed upon us, you're going to pray upon you. Right? Which you sow. Right. Drink what you sow. Right? See, they don't want that to come out, though. Yeah. But that's <laughs> next. That's next after revealing next. Who, who we are. Okay, the truth about what the Lord has planned for us and them, okay, it has to come out. All right? What is he it? He has the kingdom set up for us. Yeah. All right? They're in their kingdom right now. And it's a wicked kingdom. Okay? Letting everybody do what they want to do, okay? A man can become a woman, a woman can become a man, okay? The last is first, the first is last, <laughs> yeah. you know? She looked back at you and you said that. Yeah. See, exactly, yeah. see? Yeah. Because she's wicked, she's walking around in pants, okay? Our she know, she's feeling in her spirit she's wicked. Yeah, but you know Esau, you know, he knows the truth of this Bible. That's why he's trying to keep it under wraps. It's like you said, after the people wake up, and what's next? What's next? He knows the scripture that says all the children of Israel would face peace to pray and he would come back. That's See, one of the main reasons why he doesn't want our people waking up, man. Yeah. The Lord would turn back our captivity. Yeah, and one of the exactly. sweetest things I heard when I first heard that I was Israelite is the slavery part. Mm -hmm. It's that part. Oh, no wonder I hated them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got to get them back. Bro, that's the sweetest part. And Esau going, hey, when that comes out, because he knows he's going to have to hear, he's going to have to account for all the shit he, he has done. Oh shit, Lazarus was in the rich man. Yeah. <laughs> the rich man was what? He was, he was, he was praying to the Lord. Now, now you want to go to the Lord. Yeah. Now you want to go to God. And oh, you know, help send Lazarus. <laughs> if you ain't going to come, can you just send Lazarus? Just let him put his finger in the water. Can put it on my tongue. That's how much, that's how much devastation you're going to be going through. Okay? What goes around, comes around, is so definitely going to come around. Yeah. Okay? That's crazy. Yeah, at the end of their world, now they want to, you know, they want to be forgiveness. Right. right? They, they want love and yeah. peace. Yeah. You know, now that they, sh they see the shit ending. Right. It's you know? ending. You didn't show it all your hate. Now we have to show you love. Them the Bible teach love. <laughs> you guys, all you guys do is teach hate. Because we're in a time of what? We're in a time of hating Esau. Mm -hmm. We're in a time, it's a time for everything. Okay? Back in the day was the time to love your master. Okay? But now it's the time to hate your master. That's right, bro. It's time to hate him. Okay? What's wrong with hate? They show you that in war. Like if somebody's warned to kill the other side, and if the other side surrender, what happens to them? They get killed. Yeah. We at war right now. You think we about to be like, like come, you know, man, I see you coming at me with a sword. Oh, I, I love you. Don't do it. No, nah, man. Esau's looking to kill you Israelites, man. Yeah. We are war. We are spiritual war, man. Yeah. And we got to fight Esau with this truth. Yeah, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. That's right. 
right. What about the spiritual? Yeah. Right. Uh, don't get carnal, carnal when you have a shower return. Because right now, you know, we got to battle, battle this devil for truth, you know, for right. the spirit. Yeah. You know? And that's all we need is this truth because this truth, these words of the Havashim Nawashad, is putting him on the run. He's he's got his he's got his fists up now. He's on the defense. Alright? And there there has not really been an offensive move made toward him. Okay? They have not addressed one single issue of the so-called Negro Latino and Native Americans plight. Yes. They have not directly address any of them. Nobody addressed shameful. Okay, exactly. Okay. I got it. Go ahead. The scriptures are about us consuming us with the, the spirit of, the, uh, of our mouth. And we're not even doing that. We're just preaching the word of the Lord and we consume it, you know? Exactly. So imagine when the Lord put us on office. Oh, man. Hey, when, uh, what is it, uh, Ezekiel 25 and 17 or 14, the Lord lays vengeance on Edom by the hands of his people Israel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's going to be the day. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> God. Hell yeah. To that day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> I can't wait for that day, man. I'll yeah. be dreaming about that day, man. Okay. Hey, here's the faith and the patience of, of the, the saints, saints man. Just okay. like, come on, come on. Yep. I can't wait to 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 win when I eat them I see us, they go to trim them. <laughs> okay? Yeah. They yeah. go to shake it and convulse it. They have to bow down. Have to bow down. Bow down with the dust. Yep. Off our feet, man. Can't wait for that day. Man. Yep. It's and coming. People can't wait for it either. To say people shall be willing to day of that power. Yep. Man. Yeah. Yep. And the people what? When, when the wicked are in authority, the people rejoice. No, no, no. Okay? The, the, they mourn. When, when, when the, the wicked are in authority, the oh, people, they oh, mourn. Yeah, yeah. I said, did I say the wicked? Yeah. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah. When the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. Yeah. But when the righteous, when the righteous bear the people rejoice. rejoice. Yep. Okay? So time when we start ruling, the, the temperament of the earth is going to change, man. Right. Trees are gonna mature. The trees gonna be like, oh damn, we, <laughs> whoo, we can relax now. We can finally breathe. <laughs> they were breathe chopping back. me down the whole finally time. Grow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All those fir trees, the so-called pine trees, that they cut down every damn winter. Uh -huh. Okay, to be used for one month, or if that, and then discard it, as if they're not living beings. It's yeah. 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 Even the earth is gonna be restored. Yeah. Keep the land Sabbath. And it's gonna finally rest and be able to provide nutrients to the trees. The trees will grow bigger, yep. greener, yep. lighter. You know, the food is gonna grow bigger. Food, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The air is gonna become clean. Yeah. The water is gonna become clean. We're gonna taste water for real. We're gonna taste real water. Real water. And breathe real air. Hey, okay. Remember, the earth is not giving Esau its full strength. It's not. This is why we're not having drinking real water. We're not. Breathing pure, the purest air. You know, the earth is not giving Esau his full strength under that curse that the Lord gave unto Cain. Right. And, and you know, like um, when the Lord talked about how the land is polluted, the land in Israel ain't gonna be polluted no more with wickedness. You know, so the land's gonna rejoice, man. It's gonna yield its fruits. It's gone. Yeah. Woo. But it's gonna be a wild. Where that comes from when the missiles drop, man, it's gonna be darkness, yeah. loneliness, the yeah. death permeating the air. Yeah, yeah. wow, man, that nuclear winter, that nuclear winter, man. Yeah, but eventually, get there. Eventually, the earth is gonna restore itself. But yeah, it's gonna be a bad, be a dark day. Yeah, and Lord, it's darkness and not light, man. Right? Yeah. When the missiles hit 200 million, million missiles, this earth is gonna be fucked up. I got a piece of yeah. And the most polluted land is America because of all the blood. Yeah, and when the Lord destroy it. This the, this the, the, that, that, you know, like that dirt, dirty spot in your part of your house, like that dirty spot that really needs clean. This is it. You know, America. Exactly. Yeah, Israel. <laughs> America, America is going to be like, you know, when you get a sore, get a sore, and then okay. it starts to scab over. Okay. Mm -hmm. America is going to be that scab. Okay. Yeah. It's going to take a while to heal. Okay. But yet, 
there is going to be a remembrance, you know, a place of remembrance on how not to conduct as a nation. Okay, it's going to be it's going to be that that uh, memorabilia of wickedness. Okay. So, Isaiah chapter fifty one, verse three. It says, "For the Lord shall comfort Zion; He will comfort all her waste places, and He will make her wilderness like Eden." And her de desert like the garden of the Lord. Paradise. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. What's going to happen before this takes place? What's going to make the land of Israel the wilderness? And it look, it look like a desert. That means the destruction. Because not only America is going to be destroyed by fire. The land of Israel is going to be destroyed by fire as well. The only difference between the land of America and the land of Israel. The land of America, like the scripture says, will never be inhabited again. Yeah. No death, uh, no, no, no uh, shepherds are gonna lay the fold there. Only gonna have desert creatures. That's gonna, that's gonna live throughout America. This place will be the biggest desert, biggest memorial on the planet. All right. But the land of Israel, after a period of time, is gonna be built up again. So when you read that again, it says, "For the Lord shall comfort Zion; He will comfort all her waste places." He will make her wilderness like Eden, like Don. He's an equal for Eden. She goes into paradise and joy. All right? And that's what the Lord promised us, that he's going to make our, our ways places like Eden, man. You know, like I said earlier, the earth is not giving us full strength. The earth is still beautiful. You know, you see certain places. I go on YouTube, type in nature, and just watch a whole bunch of videos of the earth, and it's beautiful. Yeah. But in the end, in the, but when the Lord returns, it's not just kingdom, it's going to be 10 times better, man, because it's going to give its full strength. Like the, the grapes, uh, the grapes are going to be the normal size again, it's not going to be the finger. You know, the, all the fruits, the, the, even the animals are going to get bigger. Yeah. We're going to get bigger. Oh, you know? Stature, bro. So, yeah, we're going to be at a full stature. We're going to be bodies. Right. You know, everything's going to be more beautified, fresh. man. We're fresh. Hey, that's why it says, what? New heavens and new earth. Right. That word. New is, 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 I think, Greek word is kainos, which means refreshed. All right, what's going to cause that refreshment? That, that destruction. Not only is it going to, uh, that destruction going to cause and get rid of the wicked, it's also going to get rid of the pollution. It's a cleansing agent. Just like water. Water was a, is another form of cleansing agent. Fire as well. Okay? So, it says, You will make the wilderness like Eden and a desert like garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Wow. Okay, so you're talking about singing, so sing upon your beds. You know you got it good when you just sing it, like, you just rejoice it. Because when you think of the concept of paradise, like, even when Yahweh Shai told the men uh, that was right beside him, you shall be with, with, with me in paradise, it's a state of rest. Right. Just rest, man. We just want rest. What well, the scripture says, this is not our rest. Yeah, bro. I, I got another precept. This is Ruth chapter 5, verse 8. No hope. Um, all right, uh, let's lock it. Ruth 5 and 8. Moreover, even the woods and every sweet smelling tree shall overshadow Israel. Bro, oh, wow, looking for that precept. Oh, man, the land's going to smell so good, bro. It's like you gonna have a, a, a natural air freshener everywhere. Oh yeah. oh yeah. It's just like waking up in the country. If you ever been to the country, yeah. that morning air, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it breathes different. Yeah. Well, outside of LA, you can, you can tell. Yeah. Air, is, air quality is much different. Yeah. yeah. But yep. in the kingdom, the breeze gonna have a smell. It's probably smell like vanilla. It might smell yeah. like lavender. Something it's, new. Yeah, the incense, tree sap. Hey, when, when I went back home in Mississippi, uh, and I stayed there like over a month. And I, when I went there, I had this constant flam in my throat out here. It's just always in my throat. When I went back there, it cleared up immediately. Yeah. Immediately. And yeah. yeah, the trees that help purify the air, give yep. us oxygen. Yeah. You know? And you, here it is, you have Esau cutting it down. Oh, yeah. Or uh, destroying the earth. He is the destroyer of worlds. Or uh, not only will he make your, his home look desolate, make your home as well Bro, not having, like uh at that moment not having fresh air natural fresh air it fucks into your, your thoughts man it 
Once yeah. you your mind, you can't really think clearly. Yeah. You know? Uh, but it says, um, Luke 5 and 8, Moreover, even the woods and every sweet-smelling tree shall overshadow Israel right. by the commandment of the Most High. For the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, shall lead Israel with joy in the light of His glory with the mercy and righteousness that come from them. Hey, bro, but... Well, then why in Israel right now they got a borrow tree from Lebanon? But I thought they were the real people. <laughs> hey, cause they're trying to fulfill that's they're trying to fulfill the scriptures, man. But the Lord said he go he gonna bless them trees. Yeah, they have to import things, import stuff like trees too. It's, um, it's, um, yeah. it's just like them wearing all black. Okay? Just like them wearing all black trying to fulfill the scripture the Jews are black to the ground. So how have a woman shave their heads. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. You can't force yourself to be in those people, man. Okay, force yourself by using the scriptures, man. Okay. okay, use the scriptures to bring out precepts to say that you are those chosen people, they, they man. You can. can. The scripture says that once the, the, the people are back in the land, there will be no more wars. Right. That's all you really have to say to cut all that bull bullshit. And I'm saying yeah. that they are they are they are the Jews. That's all you gotta say because this war is going on right now as we speak, man. But I thought we were crap. I thought we. Were Lords of the low. Why would you want to be like the lords of the low? You take our whole nationality, okay? But we ain't nothing, okay? You put traitor to the world, yeah. We're the, the the crustiest of the crust. But yet, you want to be like us. Yeah. Everybody want to be like Mike, okay? Don't nobody want to be like no Edo Mike. Edo Mike. <laughs> Hey, when Esau was playing ball, that shit was boring, man. Boring. So Jake started getting in. That's when he started bringing the salt all the yeah. moves. So Corey kicked Esau out. All you got, majority is what? Jake playing. Yeah. Uh, I seen one of them, uh, uh, Jake, uh, man, it was one of the first Jakes to sing on white television. Mm -hmm. And all the Edomite women, they love how his boy sound. Oh, yeah. But they oh, were yeah. like, I hate that I love you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I hate that I love you. <laughs> Exactly. Not, not just hey. sports and singing and dancing. Jake also had great dimensions in building up his world, man. Great in systems, man. And great in technology. Yeah, Jake like, has the form of all things. Yeah, like, you had Jake you know? that created a water well. What was that? What was that thing? Uh, Jake created a... Oh, he created the extended ladder in front of... Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, that, that too. Oh, the one that's... Water. Oh, the water system? I don't know his name. Oh, no, it, yeah, what he, what oh, yeah, he created, it, man, man. Helped, helped his community. Bro, from you know? air, from air oh, yeah. into water. That's Jake for you. What the heck? Hey, but he, Esau hates us, man. He hates us with a passion. Okay? He hates us, but he wants, like you said, wants to be us. He, right. loves our, he loves our creation. He loves our music. He loves our food. You got Esau in a fucking Mexican restaurant getting mad that Ishikar and speaking Spanish. This is a fucking America. But you're in a fucking Mexican restaurant. Exactly. You're in a Mexican That's restaurant. What do you expect? Just like uh, when I was in the 10th grade, I I missed one question of the whole the whole year, and it was just a, a quick mistake I made. I, I forgot to put a decimal point. And I went up to told the teacher, I was like, come on, man, you gonna take off for that? You know I knew a decimal point go there. I ain't missed a question the whole year. I had a hundred, a hundred average. Uh-huh. Okay, never wish missed one question. But when he saw that I missed that question, you should have seen his face. He had the biggest grin and biggest smile on his face. Got this nigga, finally, finally. I was like, you know, he's like, but I got to take off for something. I was like, all right. That's, he was that's looking like, for something. Yeah, you like, find that? Of the nation is way to take the fall. Right. Yeah. And not and hoping that they don't rise up again. All right. But we're, hey, through the spirit of poverty, how much me outside, our people will start with the elects. All right. It's, it's raising back up, man, to our yeah. heritage, to who we truly are, man. And see, just yeah. like I missed that question, that was the Lord made me miss that question. Okay. Because He didn't want me to have no hundred average up in there. He didn't want that. He wanted to be just like we are today. It's the Lord the one that put Esau over us, man. You didn't do it yourself, okay? You you might be happy and, and, and praising each other, sending each other gifts and stuff just because you got us under your control, but that's not going to last, man. 
okay? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And it's going to, the saints shall do what? Take the king. Take the king. Okay? It's going to be taken from you, okay? And you're going to suffer like you made us suffer. You love to see us suffer. What it say? Since you have not hated blood, then blood, blood shall pursue thee. Okay? We, and all this is in, in us, man. Yeah. We know. We know what you about to get. And ain't nothing, no celebrity. You can't send nobody after us. You ain't nothing you could do against this truth. But just play it out. Let it play out. Let it play out, player. Okay? You played your part out. You had your time to rule to where you had your foot on our necks. Now it's time to get your neck under our feet. Right. If you do send somebody after us, because the most high allowed you to send yep. somebody after us. Right? Out of your own will. Yep. You know? So the scriptures become the past. Say, it shall come in like a flood, the standards shall be set against you. So yes, yeah, so you gotta send that flood, but the most high has allowed you to send that flood. Yep. Right? That's right. This is Baruch chapter 3, verse 7. For this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord Yahweh Bashem Al Shah Al Power. But all the if you're the if you're the so-called Jew, these so-called Jews, are you subject to payments? No man, you create payments. You, you create bills. <laughs> you sign the checks, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, we're cursing them. I'm looking for the one where it says the uh, Lord puts you in remembrance. Uh, but you know the point is still there, man. The Lord put his name in us and his fear in us. And he scattered us as a reproach and a curse. Jake is cursed, man. These these uh other nations, you don't see them cursed. You don't see them in a situation like Jake in the ghetto. You don't see Jake falling out with his baby mother and his children. And you don't see uh, uh Jake, uh, other people rapping about killing each other like Israelites. That's how you know we are the people, man. Hey, these other nations come over here poor as hell, okay? Come over here poor as hell, but yet Esau sets them up, yeah. okay? To bring up, to, to, to come and set up shop in our neighborhoods, all right? And they come and set up shop, get rich, and go live in a whole nother neighborhood. That's, go live beside Esau. That's the dogs making a profit off our sword. Right, Yeah. licking our wounds, all right? But let it be, because this is the last time you nations, all any of you nations, going to be able to have any type of of, uh, of uh, dominion over us. Okay, it's over for you, man. You better you better get your last little your last little partying in right now, instead of worrying about us and what we're saying. You better you better go enjoy yourself. Yeah, you, have, you better enjoy yourself because in our kingdom it ain't gonna be no enjoyment. It ain't gonna be none of that, man. Okay? That's right. And you're never gonna take over again. Never. The Lord said he's gonna be born on inward parts. Yeah. He's gonna force us to be right. The only reason why it went down is because he went off. Alright? The Lord's gonna make you never go off again. We're never gonna go into slavery ever again. So yeah, like the brother said, man. And do, do, do all your wickedness that you can. Get it out of your system now. Yeah. All right. And this starts from us, us remembering ourselves, coming back to our power, is putting these people in fear because they know once we know who we are and our power, that means that they're going to lose power over us. All right. The Lord is going to turn back our captivity. Esau knows that, man. Uh, Luke, chapter 2 verse 32 and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity in, in, in the land of our captivity is america all right that's what we're doing right now we're praising the lord man because yeah. we're doing exactly what he told us to do we're not being disobedient we're not talking about only god can do it
talk, you can hear brothers talk with the fear of the Lord. You know, our people don't talk with the fear of the Lord. You know, they talk like they're the Lord. They're the Lord of buddy, buddy. They, oh, God, speak to me in this way. And he told me, like, you know, 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 he told not going to be able to do anything unless you get this JAV. What did they do? They so, went out and got it. Yeah, now, oh, <laughs> I was laughing when, but now they're we're hiring those that got fired for not taking it. See? This fucking, fucking Jake, man. Fucking foolish. Excuse my language, but, but it's, look at Jake, man. Now, how you feel? Here they took the job. Because you had Jake that, that took it. Just so they can save their job. They didn't want to take it, but they were afraid of losing their job and they started, you know, thinking about how I'm gonna feed my family, so they took it. Now they now they're feeling stupid, man. Mm -hmm. Cause they they had no integrity in their belief. They had no they, faith. They weren't firm. Yeah. They got easily shaken up when yeah. they when they were when they were, uh when they were when they were threatened to lose their job for over this thing. So how much more when the when the actual thing, the actual paragma comes in? It's Which because would, they don't read. Right. Blessed is he who read it. Because if re, you would have read, you would have known. Okay, you don't have to trust this devil. You trust in Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shai. He said he feeds the birds. They don't have no storehouses like the birds. Yo, let's go get we gotta stock up for the winter. Okay? Birds ain't got nothing, man, but Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shai. But that's all they need. Yeah, yeah, brothers that lost jobs or got another job. So it yep. provide. You have brothers able to even make a way to still work at that job, even with that requirement, man. Yeah, brother, the Lord gave me ten more dollars for standing firm for my belief. You know, just, just doing the right thing, the Lord will bless you. Oh, yeah. These people are looking to be blessed by Esau. The scripture says, the stare of man, the fear of man brings a snare. Yep. A lot of you got snared. Got trapped. Yep. Y'all haven't read the, the things that how the Most High got his people, okay, out of trouble with Esau, okay? Hey, look, look. Look, how, look how the Lord got, got a whole nation of people out of trouble with Pharaoh, Yeah. okay? A whole nation, okay? They would have known the scripture, the Lord knows how to deliver the God out hey, of temptation. Think about it. Our people, they saw the miracles. All the powers that the Lord did, and he still didn't believe. Yeah. And and that was, you know, that was miraculous. There was miracles happening. But now that all of our people that don't have faith now, that don't know who they are now, they're lost. You think that they're gonna actually believe just off the words? Because it takes faith to believe these words. Yeah. It, it doesn't just you read the book and that's it. No, you gotta believe in these words. And what shows? What better way of showing you believe by living by this book? When situation comes. Like with the with the with the little quiz with the juice, you're gonna have faith in your house by me out shot. You know? You're not gonna be moved, you're gonna you know, face the east and pray. You know that the Lord will make a way. Uh, he make it the way to escape, man. It says many afflictions of the of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of all. Alright, we gotta believe that. The majority of our people don't have faith, man, they don't believe. Their faith is seen. Alright? Their faith is, is seen. We can bring out all the evidence of what our Lord looks like. But our people still won't believe. Why? Because in order for them to believe, they need to see it. You need they, to have faith, right? Right. And what is, how do you get faith? It's a gift given to you by the Most High. There you go. So if you don't have faith, that means you are rejected by Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Simple. Right. Okay? Because none can please them but what? One that have faith. Yeah, faith is a gift. Right. It's a so, gift. But faith wasn't given to you. Been rejected. Yep. No. Faith is the substance of things not seen. Yep. And the evidence. I got a preset. De Deuteronomy so, 1 and 30. Yeah. The, the Lord your God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which goeth before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. And in the wilderness where thou hast seen how that the Lord thy God bare thee as a man doeth bear his son and all the way that he went until he came into this place verse this is the point 32 says yet in this thing you did not believe the lord your god right 
we do not believe. So how much more now that our our, our people have are faithless now, more faithless. Uh, they're not spiritual as they were before. All right, that's why they go to Esau for justice. When instead you should cry and see how much you are shy for justice. Okay, that's why they go to Esau for everything. All right, that's why they trust in the system. They trust in Esau. Esau say, I gotta take the juice. I'm gonna take it. Why? Because they because they trust in this man. But now you have a certain amount of our people that are actually seeing that his rust has not altogether been wiped away. All right, that 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 that. Uh, now nah, I ain't gonna take the juice. All right. I was gonna trust my enemy. All right. Okay. If you don't know that Esau is your enemy, he's your perpetual enemy, man. Yeah, he's already. He has perpetual yeah, hatred for these people, man, on the sign. A perpetual hatred, man. It, it would never go away. Perpetuality means ongoing. Okay, like a perpetual calendar. You don't have to buy another calendar ever. Okay? It constantly goes on. It constantly renews itself. Just like the so-called white man's anger and hatred for us, it constantly renews itself every day. Until this day. <laughs> okay? Hey, the Lord said, Oh, ye are yeah. uh, faithless and perverse nation. Our people are just faithless. That's really what it is. They have no belief. They believe in nothing. Yep. You know, the only thing they believe in is Esau and what he tells them. Yeah. The scripture says in uh, Jonah, whoever uh, uh, taking heed to uh, uh, vanities, forsake it, uh, lying vanities, forsake his mercy. And a lot of you forsake your mercy. Your mercy is y'all by Shemel Shai. I got a piece of Jeremiah 17 5. Let's say the Lord, how much me I was shy. Cursed be the man that trusted the man and make his flesh his arm, whose heart departed from the Lord. Mm. And that word curse means damn, destruction. Yep. So if you trust a man, you're going to be destroyed. And that's what's, what a lot of our people, they're in health problems right now. A lot of them didn't even make it. Yeah. Where did they go? They in the grave. They went back up to the heavenly father. Yeah. Because they, they trusted in man. They trusted in Esau and his sister. And that's why the Lord said, oh, go on to you that go down to Egypt for help. Yeah. Literally, that's what happened. And what will happen to y'all? Destruction. Yeah. They did, did not ask that in my mouth. Right. You didn't come and inquire of the prophets. Okay, you leaned, leaned upon your own understanding, man. Your understanding from a from a from a so-called Christian point of view, because this whole earth, well, this whole United States, has been raised up in Christianity, especially our people. Our people hold up Christianity more than Esau. Okay, they hold up Cesare Borgia more than Esau. Did. Yeah, okay, they have, they have a zeal for the heavenly father. Yep. They have a zeal for Yahweh but not according to the knowledge. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why they uplift this Christianity so much. Go to the kingdom and the southern kingdom. Yeah. Lorenzo that sees the goes here. Yeah. Well, Lorenzo the Bible, but they don't understand it. But the most high has them blocked. Yeah. Bro, I was telling about uh, all about not taking the juice. And uh, she, you know what? After I convinced her all that, you know, I had a whole conversation. She's like, okay, I'm going to this interview, and then uh, they're saying I gotta take the thing. She's like, I'm gonna pray to Jesus about it. Okay, pray to Jesus. <laughs> pray to Jesus. Okay, all of y'all pray to Jesus about it, okay? Yep. Because you, you've already forgotten about your how about Shimmy how shy. You don't want to hear your true power. You don't want to be on top. Okay? You want to be constantly oppressed, man. You love being oppressed. Have has has uh what Jacob become a homeborn slave? Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. That Jacob wants to be equal. He really believes that egalitarian no doctor. He really right. feels that he really into that equal shit. No, there's a nation on top, there's a nation's on bottom. Right. It's always that's how most I set it up. It's always gonna be a nation on top, and he's gonna have to be over the other nations. Right? We're just waiting for our turn to be on top forever and ever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Homeboy slave is somebody that wants to be a slave forever. Yeah, like oh, a servant. God that damn. Servant says, I love my master. So what he does, he gets the digital old. I mean, he gets the all. <laughs> he gets that. He gets. He has his ear pierced to show that he wants to serve his master forever. Well, a lot of you, you're about to do the same thing, but instead, 
you ain't get that digital all oh, man that that that, that karate i'm sure that you love these songs like he's your master you don't want to the most high all right and our people they see that the most high's ways don't benefit them it's more of a burden right. all these laws oh it's just a burden i can't do this i can't do that you know you people have no understanding man okay and that's why a lot a lot of you're not going to make it a lot of you're going to die here yep. okay by ways different judgments these different plagues that the lord is about to bring man okay one thing that they always say, Jake always have a problem with, and it's something so easy, is pork. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and y'all had me until you said I couldn't eat no bacon. What? So you, you're you going to get burned up, okay? You're going to go through Jacob's troubles, okay, without no help because you want to eat a pork chop. Truth. Okay? You find out that you can't, you can't eat shrimp, lobster, crab. All these things that are vulnerable and that destroys your body, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna choose that over your own salvation. We saw the children, you know. Good to say, extremely stupid. We saw the children, man. no understanding at all. Yeah, They'd rather give their salvation just so they can the process pork chop sandwich and bacon and the burger. And turkey tastes better. Turkey bacon tastes better. I got beef. Bacon. Oh, beef bacon. Oh, excuse me, I. <laughs> yeah, if you want bacon with some fat in it, hey, there's beef bacon too. Yeah. I got, I got a couple of beef But Jeremiah 44 and 4. How be it, I said unto you, O oh, my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I ate. And what's one of them? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, what's one of many things that are that uh, that are bomber that the Lord hates? You've seen our people eat pork. Yep. I uh, worship another God. Uh, I walk into the ways of Esau. Uh, I walk into the ways of the wicked. Yep. All right. The Lord is sending on, onto our people, it's the prophets, to warn you to repent from your actions before He brings judgment upon you. All right. That's the Lord sending His prophets early before He brings that judgment. Okay. Bro, I see my aunt when they when she eat pork. Uh, my family it, it puts an ugly spirit on them. I can't explain it, but when you see him, it's like, man, what's he doing for me, my dad? Not just the spirit. I mean, the body stuff should change. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why Daniel uh, uh, told him, like, hey, feed me with vegetables, you know. Basically, be like, uh, the, you call it vegetarian, feed me with, you know, greenery. Yeah. And, and compare our faces to the people that yeah. eat the king's meat. Lord, the king's meat. You think that was lawful? It wasn't just lawful food. Probably eating abominable things that it wasn't meant for. Our, you know, that wasn't meant for our people to eat, man. You know. That's why our people they suffer from uh, high blood pressure, inflammation. All these diseases. All, all these diseases because of that swine. And That's why they have a big fat ass gut, man. Yeah. Bro, they said that the swine has um, worms, tapeworms that can be. Well, kill people. Hey, man, you right. gotta cook well. Yeah. It for yeah. a couple of days. Okay. No kill things off. that get into your into your joints causes arthritis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That inflammation, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Inflammation. No. But the other nations can eat these things and nothing happens to them. Okay. Why? Because they wasn't given the law, man. Okay. Go into one of these. Go into these uh, Chinese stores in the back. Where the seafood is, and look at that stuff that they eat. You are gonna be like, what the hell is this? These are the things that they eat, and a lot of them they eat alive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bats, yeah. all yeah. of that. Worms, eat shit that you don't even heard of. Right, yeah. exactly. Like one of that little Asian bitch on TikTok just eating that little fucking almond. What the hell? Is it looks like a rock, huh? Yeah, she just slap it, and it gets stiff. She bite into it. Everywhere. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's a weird shit. Yeah. But see, that's in their nature. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. in their nature. They yeah. wasn't given the law. Okay? So they could eat anything that they want and they don't get fat. Okay? They don't get high blood pressure. Okay? They don't get diabetes. They don't get none of that stuff, man. Yeah. Okay? But our people do. Because we were given the law. Yeah. All right. And it's because our people want to go against the law. You know? And do as thy will. 
taking on the, the philosophy of the, the so-called white man. Verse 5, it says, But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from the wickedness to burn incense unto other gods. And what's the form of burning incense? It's a way of your prayers. Yeah. You pray to other gods. You know? Let me skip down to verse 10. It says, They are not humble even unto this day, neither have they feared nor walked in my laws, nor in my statutes that I have set before you and before your fathers. Or our people constantly to this day refuse to walk in the ways of righteousness, keep the Lord's laws. They want to create all these excuses of why they can't eat pork. Oh, well, Peter ate unclean animals. Now I know that represented something. That represented his life for him. You know, Jake just wants to come up with all excuses yeah. like, oh, we can smoke weed, you know. Hey, hey uh, what, 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 what's the thing? What's the thing? Uh, you smoke meat, you're, you're inhaling the smoke. It's like smoking weed, so. Man, you jakes are what? fucking sottish, man. You know? But it says, um, Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil, and to cut off all Judah. Right, all of Judah, and all the, all the two-thirds, basically, man. Alright? That are of these tribes. I do not want to walk in the Lord's laws. I do not want to walk in His way. I do not want to forsake the wickedness, man. The Lord's gonna bring judgment upon them, turn their face against them, bring evil upon them, they should not be able to escape. Okay. I was looking for that one where it says in Second Esther's name, it's called, uh, my wings. Oh, that's uh, Second Esther's 9. Huh? Second Esther's 9, I believe. The 9, and, like the 5th verse, I think. Uh, law that the most high make Esau makes a law against it okay it's like with Leviticus uh, 20 and 13 yeah now he make it to where as you know gives them rights to 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 to, to do nuptials to, okay to, 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 to become one to make it legal yeah in 50 states you know okay. he gives them rights Instead of instead of upholding the law, but when you go to court, what do they do? They make you put your hand on the Bible and swear it. I would open up the Bible and read that scripture. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, nay, yeah, nay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> they judge woman swearing the Bible. I ain't gonna swear. Look at it right here. Yeah. It's written up by heaven or anything in it or under it. Rough paraphrasing. Yep. It's supposed to swear by heaven. That's crazy, man. Huh? But hey, you, you, you go to court. Like you, let's say you talk, or you, you did something to the alphabet community. They want to call it a hate crime. They put you in jail for that. Yep. Yeah. You know? That's why, you know, it's like these alphabet people, they try to push their shit on you. They try to, they know it's not okay, but they try to make it, they try to make it seem like it's okay to be what they are, man. They right. try to make everyone accept what, right. what they want to do. Yeah. You know? I can't wait till the Lord comes to stump a mud hole in their ass. Yeah. The Lord gonna stump a mud hole in y'all, man. Okay? Cause y'all are super proud, man, on the earth. Super proud against a man that 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 likes women. Okay? You wanna push your own effeminate self on him, okay, to make him accept you. The Lord ain't with that, man. Second Ezra is nine seven. And every one that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby you have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. That's the, that's the elect that are exercising that gift of faith, you know, uh, so, so that uh, so faith by that works. Yep. You know? And their faith where ye have believed. It's all about believing in this thing, man. Right. You believe you're gonna do the work, man. You believe you're gonna have that faith. You're gonna believe you're gonna pray. Yep. You know? And it says, whosoever believeth upon me cannot be uh, condemned but come to everlasting life. Uh, whoso 
whatever is the Israelites, but the elect and the true believers of Yahweh should not shine. If you truly believe, you ain't gonna be destroyed, you know? You don't he, know. he that believeth on me as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow living water. Living water. Exactly. These scriptures. They're gonna be flowing out of you. Then shall they be a pitiful case, which have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell well in torments. Ooh, in torments. So hey, when, when the Lord bring them birth pains, y'all gonna be in torment, man. Right? Whether it's the famine, martial law, concentration camps, race wars, race wars, y'all gonna be tormented. Y'all gonna receive the worst end of the stick because you despise the Lord, yep. His ways. Yep. You know, because hey, everybody's finding out about us. They know we're men of, of trying to practice everything in the scriptures. Yeah. They yeah. know we're about the Bible. Yeah. So they know that we're, we're, we teach about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and uh, uh, fleeing wickedness. They know about that, man. Hey, the ones that about people that chose to go and live among Esau. Yeah. They don't put it on the ones in that neighborhood. Oh man, y'all gonna get it, man. Yeah. Oh, let's yeah. show you that um never mind, it was a movie I watched a couple of Amazon. Yeah. Uh -huh. had to do with it was like martial law player and he had these uh Jake that lived in this area. Oh Bushwick. Nah. No, not Bushwick. Okay. And they uh they had either my neighbors that was ready to prepare for Tuesday. And um, they went to go survive Tuesday with them, basically. And Edomite took the guy's wife and showed him to kick the man out. You know? Cut the food. That's that book of Sirach, never trust thine enemy, man. And it says an enemy uh, cannot be hid in adversity. Oh, man. And these Edomites, when all hell breaks loose, oh, yeah, they ain't going to be hidden, all right? They're going to be at the young man. When you said, uh, try to live amongst them, that reminds me of uh, that dude Kanye West, man. Mm -hmm. For a while, he lived in Calabasas with yep. his lady and shit. Yep. You know? Yeah. It's great. He's blowing the whistle right now, but this whole time, he, he's been, you know, he's been doing all this bullshit, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. You That's know, in bed with this devil, man. Yeah. Doing all type he's of still shit. Still in bed with him. Still in bed with him, yeah. Okay. This is like that leader in uh, uh, the Black Lives Movement. Oh. He bought men, she's right next to Edomite. Edomite. Yeah. <laughs> right. What's that all about? Up. All I was supposed to matter, but they, you know, hey, they must didn't see the movie The Purge. They must haven't seen the movie. Okay. Verse ten. For such as in their life have received benefits that have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, oh, and liberty, not the freedom. To do it before the evil days come down. You got the freedom to come out and see a brother teach you. You got the freedom to go on the internet and actually search out stuff. You know, look up videos. You got the freedom to search and seek the Lord, but it's really the Lord calling. It's really, it's really the Lord rejecting. Uh, uh, yeah, the Lord can really. It's the Lord that chooses, not you choose the Lord. Yeah. Hey. The opportunity is here. They have the freedom. What are they doing with the freedom? Party. Yeah, using it for father. Our father. Saturday, Saturday, you know, Saturday, people are using it to do what they want to do, not be the word of the Lord. You know? 2020, come on, everyone was at home. Instead of seeking the truth, they're just looking for more folly to go into. Yeah. Because all they folly that they had was either being shut down or closed for the moment, you know? Trying to enjoy the world before it ends. Instead of <laughs> trying to come back to Yahweh, you know, They're in denial that the world is going to be in. Straight denial, man. We could preach the end of the world that, that the Lord is coming and upon his arrival, 200 million ICBMs coming with him, you know, it's just going to decimate this place. But they put that far in the future. They put it off as a, a pipe dream, okay, that we're crazy, okay? We're saying something that would never be. Same way with Noah. 
Mm. He talking about rain gonna fall from the sky. And rain had never fell. Okay. And they say this guy here, he, he's a he's a demon, he's a devil. Okay, he's crazy. That's the same way they look at us. But regardless, the scripture's gonna come to pass. Isaiah 55 and 11. Okay? Most high's words do not go out void. Right. Okay? They're gonna accomplish that which he sent it out to do. Okay? Which is to wake up to, to one third to uh to proclaim to the other nations their downfall and to proclaim to the two-thirds of our people their downfall. Okay? It's not going out, boy. Right. And they that have that have clothed my law while they yet had liberty and when as yet place of repentance is open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Yeah. And the Lord is merciful to all of them. Give them an opportunity to, to come serve him. Try to get right with him, but they're not interested. You know? So guess what they're going they're gonna find out the hard way. And he right. died. Said uh a place of repentance is open unto them. Brother to 2020, hell even right now. Yeah. See the prophets out on the street. So a place of repentance is open unto them. Nobody's out. Nobody cares. And they despise it. You know, like like that bitch that looked back at him, gave him the side eye when he mentioned about lesbians. You know? They, they, they hate and despise his word. She's going to get caught up in that destruction. Yeah. Along with two thirds of the other people out here. Along with everybody else, there's other nations out there. So the uh, same must know it after death by pain. So two thirds of these other nations are going to get caught up in death by pain. What's that death by pain? Nuclear destruction. Ice and down, falling down, 200 million of them. You know? And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is, and for whom the world is created. We just read how the earth is created for our sakes, man. The Israelites. So be concerned about how the ungodly can be punished. We'll call out the two thirds. Fuck. Really care about righteous, the elect. We get the elect. Worry about ourselves getting off the ship. Worry about ourselves getting off one of the chariots. That's right. Says, and therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. But at the end of the day, man, fuck the fuck the two thirds, man, fuck the scoffers, yeah. fuck the people that fuck against you, assholes that ride by the yell, yell shut, or whatever it is that you have to deal with, fuck them. And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is, for whom the world is created. I always remember that this world was created for our sake. This is our world, and this is our planet. As far as and the galaxies. And let's just say there are many mansions in the most nice house. The Lord is one of those off preparing a place for us. I think you have to believe that. And so, hey, we're getting ready, man. We're getting ready to, to uh, experience all of these things. That's right. So this world's coming to an end. That's why we're warning our people like, look, the end, there's going to be a lot of destruction, but that's how the beginning is going to start. Yeah. The end must come. Destruction must come. Then it's going to be beautiful after that. The end of what? Esau's world. In the beginning of Jake's, they're up. You hear about the end, end, end of the world, you're looking at the whole earth is going to be destroyed. End of this whole world, nah. End of Esau's world. End of an age. Yeah. End of a yeah, end of an age. End of this wicked age. Yeah, don't include the elect with, with, with that. Because <laughs> then right. everybody like the whole world is gonna be destroyed. Nah man. It's a, the wicked of our people. The it's Edomites, American stuff. Yeah. It took about what, like six six excuse me, says like about six days. A day to the Lord. It's like a years, like a thousand years, yeah. so about six thousand years everything to be created. You think the Lord's just gonna destroy it just like that? Nah, man, he's gonna he's gonna refresh it. He's gonna right. make it new again. Earth abides forever. Bro. Yeah. Yep. Earth is created judgment. 
was also created you know, to be a paradise for the elect, right? Earth was created for our sakes, for us to enjoy the earth. When we go into Adam, the, the, the curse that the Lord put on Adam, now we have to bear the, the, the thorns and briars, we have to catch hell, we have to work for what what is should be free for us to have. Man. What did the angel say every time they got done with the creation? It was, it was good. good. It was good. Why? Yeah. Good. <laughs> why would they, why did they say it was good? Because it's just like how the heavenly father how we wanted it. They, they got it, they, they followed the blueprint. That's Everything right. was perfect. The Lord don't make no mistakes. It's that you stupid ass people that that, that think that he makes mistakes. It's you it's, it mainly it's you Edomites that think that you're a God and, and wanna uh the Lord should have done this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it. Read Isaiah 29 and uh 16, I think. You have esteemed yourself as the party's clay. You have turned everything upside down. But the Lord created was right, and to be perfect, you you turn it upside down. You you, you, you fucked it all up. This is why Yahweh Shai is gonna turn the angels, alright, and they're gonna fix everything that you eat them much fucked up on, man. Yeah. Hey, if we're of the elect, we were back there with Yahweh Shai create everything. Alright, so if we're of the elect, we're gonna be with Yahweh Shai. Get it, set everything in order and how it's supposed to be. Right. Okay. You know, that continual employment. Yeah, you other, you other nations, you Edomites, the other ones are going to be doing all the fixing, man. Right? We're doing all the building, rebuilding, and all that. Under the, under the control. You have a shot. Uh, this is uh, verse 14. Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now to speak, and to speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. It's going in like a bucket of water, like a drop to a wave, man. Yeah. A small number of them be delivered out here, man. We're, we're, we're inquiring how the righteous should be saved. We want to be that few. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to be that many, shit. <laughs> you want that scripture? Yeah. Sirach 13 and 14, right? Yeah. All right, Sirach chapter 13, verse 14. Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. And that's what we're telling the people. Come back, love your creator, and uh, he will grant you life, everlasting life. You know, and, and it's going to start with deliverance. That was it? Yeah. Uh, Surah 13 and 14. Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. And the scripture says, whosoever shall call upon the, the Lord, uh, the same whosoever shall call upon the Lord shall be saved. The same shall be saved, yeah. Yeah, come on, bro. So that, hey, that name, calling upon the name of Yahweh by Shai is going to give us salvation. Yeah. You know, yeah. For, for those that are out there saying, oh, the name don't matter, that's what we're going to call to in that day, man, when the missile's about to hit. You know, and martial law is declared, concentration camp, and we're about to get beheaded, whatever it is, we're going to call upon the name of the Lord to deliver us. Yeah, that's real. Right? That, that name, man, it's crucial, man. You know, that's that's how we 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 tap into strength, man. You know, that's how we, we, we get more faith. You know, th hey, th that's how we're going to get through those uh, rough times that we're coming into. Like the uh, movie Adam. Yeah. Uh, he gets his strength from calling upon the name. All that power. Oh damn! Oh, what does it say? John 1 and 12. To those that receive him, he gives our power to those that believe in his name. That's a prayer for us. Yeah. It's all about it all starts with that name, man. The name is very important. It's not how you want someone to call your name when they're calling you correctly the right name. Alright? No one wants you to call his name the proper name. Not God, Jehovah, Yahweh, not Jesus. Not Jesus Christ, Yahshua, the proper name of the Father and the Son, 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 the Father and the Son. Psalms 21. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. In the name of the power of Jacob, defend thee. Hey, trouble is coming, and the Lord is going to hear a few. Yeah. The elect. He's going to hear us, man, when we call upon him. But read that again. Oh. <laughs> the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. 
the name of the power of Jacob, defend me. That's wow. hard, yeah. And the Lord is going to defend his men that call upon him. He's going to defend him, man. The Lord is going to hear us in that time. That's why we have so much confidence, you know, to come out and talk about Jacob and Trump and all these things to come. Because we know in the midst of that, the Lord is going to hear us. He's going to stand up for us. He's going to defend us. This is Joel 2 and 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord Yahweh Shai has said, and the remnant whom the Lord shall call. What's the remnant? Another title for the elect. Yeah. And that's who he's calling right now, man. That's why the destruction hasn't come yet, because the elect needs to be sealed. Alright? That's powerful, man. When you call on the name of the Lord, man, when you're when the situation just feels hopeless, man, you know, he, he makes it so there's a way out. You know, hey, Lord, hey, calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that's what's going to get us delivered, man. I got another precept. Psalms 18 and 6. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my power. Mm -hmm. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Man, see, think how precious and special that, that for you to call upon the name of the Lord, that his, your, your voice enter into his ears, man. All right, your cry, he hears your cries. That's for the rest of our people. The Lord said he's not gonna hear them, man. Their, their, their cries are not even, not even worthy enough to enter into the Lord's ears. All right. Their, their cries, when they, when they utter, the, utter prayer, their prayers don't even, don't even go out, out of the atmosphere, man. All right? Because, because their cries are an abomination. Their cries are an abomination. I'm talking about the wicked. Like it says, the scripture says it, the wicked, uh, prayers and our abominations here, man. Yeah. All right. The only person that hears their prayers is Satan. <laughs> and but for for the righteous, the Lord hears our cries and hears our prayers. So when we're in deliverance, when we're in distress, when we're in trouble, you call upon your how bless me, our shout. You got best believe he's gonna hear you, man. Because if you're doing the right thing, all right, if you're serving him in truth and sincerity, walking in fear, why wouldn't he not hear you? You're doing this work. Why wouldn't he not hear you? All right. The only reason why you should worry if he doesn't hear you is if you're walking in your ways and wickedness. If you're faking the whole thing. You're not taking the truth serious. You're still being a nigga in the world. That's where you should be nervous. If you're doing the right thing, then the Lord hears you. We got nothing to worry about. Judah chapter 6. Look at that precept. It's Sirach 35 and 17. The prayer of the humble pierced with the clouds. Until it come nigh, it will not be comforted and will not depart. For the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. You said right there, the prayer of the humble pierced up the clouds, man. Yeah. <laughs> right into the ears, you how flashing up the What's another word for humble meekness, right? The way of being a meek person may be going through something, but he understands that it's coming from the Most High. Yeah. Someone may have done him wrong. But he understand that's from the Most High. All right, and he's gonna look wait patiently for the Most High to do it. All right, so the Most High hears, the Most High hears our prayers, man. What do we, it takes humility to cry and make your request known to you. How about Shimei Al Shai? It takes humility to cast your burdens upon Him and rely on the Lord, man. Yeah. So let me uh, read one verse up. Uh, Sirach 35 and 16. He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted, accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. That's hard. He that serveth the Lord. Are we serving the Lord? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Started with the apostles, elders, and us brothers of great millstone. We're all serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So our prayers are being heard. We're being accepted. Accepted right? with favor. With favor. Okay? The Lord is very pleased with what we are doing, man. The sacrifice that we're showing them on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, because this is not just a wicked thing. This is a day-to-day. -day. This is this is our life. This is our purpose. This is our profession. Like it says in our Leonidas, Spartans. What is Spartans? <laughs> what is your profession? Well, this is our profession. Yeah. All right. No, hey, that's beautiful to think about. Him hearing and he's listening. Right. You know, to our prayers, he's he's thinking about yeah, us, man. Bro. The Creator. Hey. You know, hey. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, bro, out of billions of people, he listening to your voice. Why yeah. is that, bro? Why? I, because only a few are only calling on his name. Yeah. Not everyone. Yeah. The Lord's name is not known to everybody. Mm -hmm. the majority of our people. We have people that know the names of the Most High of our people, but they're not praying. They just it's in the back of their mind. Now nah, we're praying to the Lord every day, man. So why wouldn't He hear me? Think about that. He hears the Lord hears His elect. And that's what you gotta have hope that we are of his elect. Alright? Just because your prayers are not answered right there and then doesn't right. mean that your prayer is not not heard. Sometimes you may pray for something, but it's not to, it's not according to the Lord's will. No, I can give that. Yeah. Well, you know? And plus I'm doing on the Lord's time. I was praying for something. You know, for some praying for my brother when he was going through, you know, I've been praying a minute on that. I haven't used like a the Passover prayer, you know prayer that you pray the Passover, you know, for that for him. And just now I'm realizing hey the Lord heard that prayer. So we're on the Lord's time with that. Not on our time. So even though it seems like the Lord is hearing the prayer not answering, the Lord hears it. Hey you know you know how you know your prayers are heard? Saints in your mind telling you not he doesn't hear your prayers. That's yeah. how you know. Yeah. So hey if you hey That's the Lord real. hears my prayers. If you didn't you were asking to be here. Hey, but think about it, bro. What is a uh, perfect time to answer your prayer if one day is a thousand years to the Lord? Come on, man. If you take life, the Lord is continuing your prayer and he's like, he's going to execute it how he in his, his time. Prayer. Yeah, mm -hmm. think about it. He knows when you need that prayer right. answered. Yeah, that's what get this one right, right I got you going with this one. Okay. Micah 7 and verse 9. I bear, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against Him. Right, and that's what you gotta have. You gotta have the mentality that right? we're going, we're going to something we deserved it, man. You know how, how hard it is, we deserve it because we sinned against. We all sin. We're all not, we're not perfect. Our even our righteousness are counted as something bad. Yeah. So what we have to do, we just gotta, we gotta bear it. We sin against the Lord, man. You know, just hoping for His mercy. So it says rock to wait for his mercy. Think about it. The top man himself under Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, had to bear his sins when he was uh, Solomon and Adam. Okay? Yeah. So why would we, why can't we, we think we're not going to go through something? We think we're not going to, we're not going to bear our sins? We got to bear our sins. Okay. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. Right, to plead my cause. So the Lord judges our cause, man. And execute judgment. Because who's going to avenge his people? The Lord, not us. We're not going to avenge our Lord. Go to Psalms 91. It says, vengeance belongs to him. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we've got to wait till the Lord bring forth his vengeance. All right? And think about it. The top man himself, under Yahweh, Yahweh was shy. He's waiting for his vengeance. Yep. Right. Uh, he's going to, 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 to return upon earth to have his vengeance for what our people and Esau did to him about 2,000 years ago in his time two days okay so he's waiting himself so he doesn't know when he's gonna return only Yahweh's Yahweh knows all right so if our Lord Yahweh Shah has to wait that means that we gotta wait yeah. we're not greater than our our, our our masters our master which is who Yahweh Shah because you may have some so a person may have done something wrong to you all right did something fucked up to you you want your vengeance you're thinking about it you know you want you want it you know whatever that person did you know like for example let's say you have a woman right she's committed an adult woman nothing's happened her life's going well and you're just over here just waiting for the lord to judge you praying to the lord lord do this lord you're putting curses every day praying let her effort you man but you gotta understand man yeah you put courage you pray but just know that the lord he's gonna avenge you on his time all right on his time just because you're seeing their life going well doesn't mean that the lord the Lord, the Lord doesn't hear your prayer, man. The scripture says, uh, the second answer is nine. Don't worry about how they God should perish. You should worry about how you're going to be saved. Because that could cause you not to do, push, push the word of the Lord, man. If you're just constantly meditating about uh, the, the, the wrong that people have done to you, man. The Lord here, the Lord knows, man. It says that whosoever offended one of these little ones, it's better that he cast, tie the great millstone around his neck and tie, tie himself and drop himself to the bottom of the ocean. To, to offend one of these little ones. So if you're if you're if you're the Lord's little ones and whoever offends you, best believe the Lord got you, man. It's just on his time. 
and it says, and until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. And who's the light? The how is the light. Our Lord and Savior. He's the light, man. Alright? So so hey, all of us, all of us, all all nation. Why are we at the bottom? Why are we being oppressed? Why are we keep getting gunned down? Why are we keep getting killed? It's because we have sinned against the Lord, man. That's why we're on the bar, and that's why we're despised by these other nations, man. All right, because we have sinned against the Lord, and our people don't understand that, man. So we just got, we got to bear this punishment because our punishment is almost over. Because the light, Yahweh Shai, he's coming, he's coming to save us, man. He's coming to put an end to our oppression. All right, he's coming to, to take down the so-called white man's kingdom, man. All right, because he's the main one that's oppressing us. Okay. The scripture says, the man that loved, well, the man that loved his son spared not the rod. So if the Lord didn't punish us, he didn't care. He wouldn't, that wouldn't be a father not caring for his son. So we had to go, go, go through these trials and tribulations. We have to catch help, you know? Hey. That's the Lord showing his love. The scripture says, it pleaseth him to bruise his son. Right. His own, his, I mean, his only begotten son. So I, how much more us, you know? I got a piece here. Amos 3 and 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Yeah. There you go. Out of all the nations that are here on earth, the Lord chose what nation? The nation of Israel. We're the, we're the best, we're the top, man. We're the nation that the Lord chose. The rest, the Lord, the Lord looks at nothing, like dogs, like you were saying earlier. Like drop up a bucket, man. Right. Okay, they're nothing. Yeah, your parents are going to discipline and spank your neighbor's kid for getting out of line. Yeah. They're going to spank you with your ass for getting yeah. out of line. You know? yeah. They love you. Not the neighbor's kid. Not, not your son's best friend. What the fuck about him? They care about you. Yeah. And what did your parents say when you say, well, they doing it. Well, if they're going to run and jump off a bridge, you're going to run and jump off a bridge. <laughs> you know, they always give you that analogy. You know, if they do something wicked, you're going to do something wicked. Yeah. Okay. What's that scripture say? Falling out the multitude of the people. Exactly. There you go. Just because you see the whole world falling in wickedness and nothing's happening to them doesn't mean that 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 you should. Okay. Because because judgment's waiting for them, man. Hey, read that okay. again. Read that again. That's the name. Amos three and two. You only have I known of all the families. Amos three and two. You besides you. Right. You. Only have I known of all the families. Who of the is that you? The nation of Israel. Go ahead. Go ahead. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all wait, your. Wait, wait, You will punish you? Therefore, I will punish you. I will punish you. Okay. He's not going to punish the other nations for eating shrimp, crab, and lobsters. Okay. He's not punishing them for that, man. He punishing who? These people, man. Right. You. Yeah. You got to understand who that you is. All right? That's talking to you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? He not dealing with any other nation. Nope. All right? That might be hard to fathom. Like, how can a God create people and he don't love them all? Okay? You bought shoes. You got shoes in your closet. Some of them shoes you don't even wear. Why you don't wear them? Because you don't love them. Yeah, I'm throwing away. <laughs> you like them, they all right. I'm throwing away. But you don't wear them. Because those are not the ones that you love. The ones you love, you're polishing them up. Damn, I got to get, get, get this stain off of them. You know, you keeping them nice. Just like what the scriptures say, keep me as the apple of thine eye, man. Primary focus. You know? Well, it's constantly wherever we're at, the Lord's there. Watch us. As the angel, man. Watch, watching his people. No matter where they are scattered throughout the earth. If you're in the Amazon jungle, if you're in Israel, you can watch. Yeah. Did brother get Ezra 9 and 13? What? Ezra? Um, Second Ezra? No, Ezra. Oh, Ezra. 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 Okay. Lord could have really done us in even worse. He, he 
he could have really kept us in chains to this day. Hey. He could have made our bondage even more harder. Right, right. So that's what we're gonna get that second uh for iniquities. Think about it. He brought brought us from the greatest uh, uh kingdom that had us in hardcore bondage and oppression. He 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 cared for us, he gave us our own land, he gave us all everything we could possibly want. And what do we do? We turn on our power and, and worship idols and shit. That's like a woman. That's yeah, like when well, you you, uh, you have a woman, right? You marry a woman, give her all she wants, everything. whatever she asks for, you the give world. her. She has it all. Other women envy her. Other women wish to be her. What she go? What she gonna do? She gonna cheat on you? Go fuck the neighbor because you're not home all the time. All right. Look, that's what our people have done. Here it is. The Lord gave everything. Gave us everything. Every single. The best of everything. The land of Israel. That's the best. Out of all the earth, that's the best. Top tier. Like. Top you know, that's gonna be like the capital of the whole universe. All right, Jerusalem. All right, here, what are what our people do? That wasn't enough. They went to worship other gods. They went and cheated on the Most High, man, by serving other gods. He even gave us kings. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, we wanted the king, right? Yeah, bro, we wanted the king. Yeah, because why? We were looking at the, we were looking at the other nations. They, they had that's kings. That's a woman, bro. Yeah. Oh, she got, he got her a oh, Gucci bag. Yeah. They wouldn't give me a Gucci bag. Right. Her, her husband, got, her man like, like, allows her to go out and party and go to clubs. Yeah. Why you allow me to do that? They, she, she wanted to be like the other nations that were like, uh, 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 their husband didn't give a shit about them. Right, man. <laughs> That's Ezra. But hey, hey brothers, you get that. Ezra's 9 and 13. Yeah, Ezra 9 and 13. And after all this is come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that thou art the Most High, has punished us less than our iniquities deserve, mm. and has given us such deliverance as this. There was a point where the Lord was so angry. He was, he was like, Moses, look. I'll start over a nation with you. Fuck these niggas, they didn't want to serve me. The Lord was ready to kill all, he was ready to exterminate his people, but then Moses had to remind us. We, 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 bro, a lot of us deserve death, and the Lord have mercy upon us, man. Yeah, that's why you gotta even consider your own situation. If it's bad, I was saying something. That's just the conviction and complaining. Uh, if, if, your, if your situation's bad, it can always be worse. Yeah, it can be worse. Shit, it can always be worse. And the best part about it is the Lord's with us yeah. in yeah. this situation. <laughs> yeah. That's the best part about it. You know, you might be going through shitty as shit, and then you see a chariot just, ooh. Okay, always be, right. always be right grateful. There, I'm cool, I'm cool. Always be grateful. Yeah. Always, there's always, a, in a negative situation, there's always something to be positive about. Yep. Don't just focus on a negative situation. Look for the positive out of that situation, that negative situation. It's that's always positive. That's why the truth is so beautiful. That's why it's good news. Because you talk about suffering for the Lord, but then you talk about the kingdom. And you talk about how um, our affliction is now worthy to be uh, compared. Yeah, yeah. It's like, man. Hey, like that scripture says, right? Right. Uh, Moses has punished us less than our iniquities. Deserve. Yeah. We all deserve death. At the end of the day, we deserve death. We don't, we don't, we don't, we, don't, we deserve death. What's the but, law for adultery? Huh? Death. Yeah. But but the Lord is knowing his workmanship, showing us love, having compassion on our souls, since the only begotten Son Yahweh Shai to, to pardon our sins. Alright, to give us a covering for our iniquities. Alright, he's the one that pleads our cause. He's a lawyer and the most high defending us. Alright? Because the most high could have brought judgment for, upon him doing something but the Yahweh Shah is like nah Lord don't don't do this he didn't know you know step pleading your cause man you know and you still got Jake that does not want to accept Yahweh Shah I do not want to believe in Yahweh Shah you don't know how important we need Yahweh Shah without Yahweh Shah we're fucked man you understand that hey Yahweh Shah even said oh Lord forgive them they know not what they do because there was some elect among the crowd didn't even know yep and you read that in Peter's all right Peter was we, you know, we, uh, and he's talking about uh, uh, a man that uh, no greater thing than a man that laid his life down for his brother. And the Lord literally, Yahweh Shah went up on the cross for all his kinfolk, for all his brothers, yeah. the elect the spirit, you know, and, and all of Israel. Um, 
Right. Um, Acts 2 and 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know certainly that the Most High hath made that same Yahweh Shai whom ye have crucified for Lord and Yahweh Shai. Because this was Peter going into how some some jakes in the crowd were, 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 were you know, the jakes that he talked to in this chapter, they were there when Yahweh Shai was crucified. All right? But they, did, they, they didn't know. Okay? It says, um, now when they heard this they were pricked in their heart because they remembered that 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 time that they that they uh they they said they gave the house shot to the romans to the edomites to be crucified man all right you had jakes out that, that were there that's why you know the house shot said forgive them for they know not what they do same thing with uh stephan so who's in the midst of that crowd huh. paul which his name before that was saul okay so um says now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shai for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Right, man, because what does the scripture say? Every sin can be forgiven except the sin of blasphemy. And who could commit the sin of blasphemy? I'm asking you, Tazapanya. Yeah. No, no, who could commit the sin of blasphemy? Who, who can only commit the sin of blasphemy? The only one that can commit the Yeah. Of the Holy Spirit. Not Esau. Esau. Yeah. How? Well, how is he? How is Esau committing the sin of blasphemy? Specifically, who? Who did he put up? All I can say is idols. Uh, uh, here and all that. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, saying like, that the Lord looks like a white man, yeah. saying that saying that he's the chosen people. Yeah. Alright, that's, that's the sin of Bash. Yeah. And he goes back to the Macabee. He looks at uh, uh open the book, laid open the book, paint, paint. It's like yeah. this. It's the book, the wall. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. Because the scriptures say the ones who've seen the son have seen the father. Because the son looks exactly like the father. Okay? So if you see Chazare, Booganir, Booganos, and you see him, that's how the father's supposed to look. Okay? Because he is supposed to be the son of God, right? Yep. Don't you look like your father? Yes. Okay? So that's blasphemy. Okay? The, the ultimate power. The ultimate spirit, Yahweh himself, man, saying that he looked like a, a, a pale-faced Edomite, man. Hey, I, that's a two-for-one lie. Yeah, you it lying is. On you know what I'm saying? You're lying on the heavenly that's father. It. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. But what they did, that was a great sin, but that sin was forgiven if they repented from that. Yeah. And which the multitude, the multitude that Peter was speaking to, the Israelites, did repent from that, man. They did repent for, for, for how they acted and how they were when Yahweh Shah was around, man. Okay? That's all hey. Like, it's like you can pretty much repent from anything, you know? The Lord is giving you the opportunity to repent. But, but whose repentance is for them? Yeah. Who's going to repent? The elect, the rest of our people, they're not going to repent, man. Think about it. It said, what, like 3,000 souls were added onto that day? Yeah, three thousand. They that were they that gladly received his word were baptized. In that same day, three were added unto them. Wait, in the same day, there were added unto them about three thousand souls. So think about that. Three thousand souls. That's a lot, right? That's a lot. Three thousand people came. That's a lot. But it's still small amount of number compared to those that's not. Yeah. All right. To commit, you know, compared to, to the rest of the Israelites, did not repent. Yeah. It's a small number. It's, still, it's big, right? It's, but it's still small. All right? Just like today, man. All right? And this is going to happen today. All right. This is going to happen today. This time, hey. you know, there's going to be a huge number of people coming, flocking How? to the Word. How can that happen? When the Lord gives his men, like for example, if the Lord gave the apostles much power to heal, like the scripture said, you have lots of Jacob. That are gonna that are, that are, that are see that and get sealed by that and believe. 
Yeah. You know, sometimes it just takes Jake, you know, to see it to believe it. Like you have some cases like Thomas, right? They, the scholars want to call him Downing Thomas, but they don't understand that Thomas had a different level of faith than the other apostles. Each brother got other, other, uh, different amount of faith. All right, some brothers have more faith than others. Some brothers have little faith. Okay, but but Thomas, he needed to see Yahweh. He needed to feel his stick, his finger in his in his belly in order to know that 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 was his, that was, that was the Lord. So it, it, certain people, certain of the elect, they need to see something in order to believe it. And what what's the Lord reserving them to see? That spoke power that He's gonna give His His men to do in these last days. Because it does say that in the day of our power, that people shall be willing. Okay, our people will be willing to listen. All right, but but hey, was he how shy doing miracles? Did everyone accept him? He knew what the miracles that he was doing. So even in this time, you're still gonna have people that are still not gonna believe. Why is that? Because it's not meant for them to believe. Yeah. Despite them seeing Apostle Tahar healing a man from the chair. No, that's witchcraft. Or you know. Yep. Or, or or see or, or see. They gonna say he's gonna give him a trick or something. Oh, oh, that's fake. They set up. It's acting. He paid him. You know. That's what they're gonna say. Well, what you do, with Apostle Tahar flies, or, or one of one of the men little flies, or 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 or, 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 or he was a blind man. Even better, blind man. Bro. A blind man I cannot see from birth. From birth, and 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 the, one of the apostles healed that man in front of everyone. What is, what, what can they say? Then, huh? You know? He has devils. He yes. did it of Beelzebub. Right. <laughs> okay. They, they, that's what they did to Yahweh. They called him devils. Yep. So yeah. Yahweh said, How can I do this of the devil? If a house be divided against the house, if a house be divided, it cannot stand. That's right. All right. He did not come in, in, in the name of Satan. He came in the name of the, of the Father, man. All right. Uh, what that time? Uh, brother guy, you need the last one. Isaiah 55 and 11, bro. Isaiah 55 and 11. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. This is going, this is the most highest word going out of his mouth right here. Okay, and all the brothers all across the earth doing this man okay it should not return unto me void right but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the things where to i sent it that means prophecies are going to take effect and a lot of you gonna witness prophecies and you're living in a time of prophecies and you're about to see all of what the prophets the mouthpiece of the lord have been saying come to pass so, Hey, but no one in this was edifying. Uh, I'm encouraging to our brothers. Hope you are now strengthened. We're giving all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shem. Rakadash. Rakta Yahweh. 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 Double honors to the apostles and elders. Shalom. Shalom, my God. I used to love that. That's it. My brother's like, Baba, Baba.